in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed God and say Lord give me understanding give me understanding the Bible says the entrance of thy word give it light and even understanding to the simple Lord we believe you hallelujah hallelujah Understanding is a spirit. Isaiah 11 is one of the manifestations, the sevenfold manifestations of the Spirit of God. The Bible says, And open he their understanding that they might understand the scripture. I'd like you to pray in one minute and say, Lord, impart upon me the spirit of understanding. The spirit of understanding. Are you praying? The spirit of understanding. Kaba toka soda she brought us sila pro hata garoto suprendi di baratish nalaba impart upon me the spirit of understanding hallelujah one more prayer point and then we'll sit down what we're taking a series on faith. I consider this to be a very important series. God is going to be opening our eyes, showing us why things may not be working and what the key will be. I'd like you to pray and say, Father, the missing link in my life, as far as the manifestation of faith is concerned, in this series, open my eyes. Lift your voice and pray. Don't be casual. Pray, Koinonia. The missing link. The missing link. I admit I may be doing something inaccurately. Show me. Show me. Sabarato kaparadada. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you and good evening. Please sit down. We have a lot to do tonight. We're beginning a series on faith. We're beginning a series on faith and I really want us to pay attention and trust the Lord to bless us. Praise the Lord. The series will last all through the month and um, the goal of this course is to help us understand for some of us for the first time you'll be realizing how faith truly works and then for many of us it will be a reaffirmation and an upgrade on our understanding of faith hallelujah it's important once and again that we remind ourselves of these principles upon which results are produced in the kingdom he says, I will not be negligent to put you in remembrance of these things, although ye already know them and are established in this present truth. There are basically three aspects. Let's put the, I'll call it the course content. Just put it down quickly. Just three of them. Number one, we're going to be looking at the character of the word of God slash discerning the will of God. The character of the word of God slash discerning the will of God that's what we'll be looking at today and then next week we are going to be looking at the dynamics of faith the dynamics of faith we're going to be looking at 
the inner workings, how it really works. And then finally, sustainable faith. Sustainable faith. Faith that can take you from prophecy to manifestation. Part of the things we are going to be um, explaining are what I call faith boosters. The keys that keep your faith alive and powerful. We are going to be considering certain mysteries like the power of your seed in keeping your faith alive. The power of praise. The power of thanksgiving. The power of partnership. Bible says if any two shall agree together as touching anything. So it's going to be an interesting series. Let's go straight to the business of the night. Why faith? Why do we need faith in our lives? The Bible clearly tells us how that our walk is a faith walk from Genesis right to Revelation. We see that all those who were able to command results in their generation did so by faith. We're going to Hebrews shortly. But before that, I want us to look at two scriptures. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Why faith? Why do we need to talk on the subject of faith? Can you help us, media? That is possible. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. The B part is my verse of emphasis. And let's walk with King James. It says, Behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Read on the B part. One to read. But the just shall live by his faith. So the subject of faith is not just a subject of prosperity or breakthrough. That you're living both in terms of the continuity of your breath and the quality of your life according to scripture. Four times interestingly in the Bible, four times the Bible emphasizes that the just shall live by his faith. We'll just look at two scriptures. This is one Habakkuk chapter 2. It says, but the just shall live by... In fact, he didn't just say faith. He said his faith. His faith. So we see that faith is necessary for both living and living victoriously. You may want to write that down. Faith is necessary for both living and living victoriously you cannot live a victorious life in this kingdom outside of the operation of faith hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 there are four but we'll just look at one for the sake of time let's do that quickly please hebrews 10 38 just the a part it says now the just when will the just live by faith when will he live by faith it says now the just shall live by faith then it says but if any man draw back back to what back from this principle of living it says my soul shall have no pleasure in him a very classical rendition of this was given to us in Hebrews chapter 11. We're going to read it further when we read verse 6. The Bible tells us, just give us verse 6, but we'll later on start verse 1. Hebrews 11 chapter and verse 6, please help us. I'd like you to read it. It's projected. One to read. But without faith. Uh-huh. Stop. That's what I want you to see. It was buttressing on Hebrews 10 38 that if any man draws back, my soul will not have pleasure in him. So it says, but without faith, that means outside of faith, it is impossible to please God. Hallelujah. So we see that the entire life of a believer revolves around faith. Now, many of us have had this teaching faith. We've had pastors. Some of us have taught it ourselves. But I think it's very important for us to settle down and really understand what faith is and how it works. We call all kinds of people men of faith. This person is a man of faith. What exactly is faith and how does it work? Seeing that the quality of our lives on earth is dependent 
dependent on our understanding. Now listen please, not our application of faith alone. But our understanding of the same. You can apply something wrongly. Dissipate so much energy. But it does not mean you are producing results. How many of you have seen cars that the exhaust has busted? And I mean you hear the car coming so loud like a truck. You think it's a truck running without brake. And then you see a little bike or a little car. That's how many people's destinies are. There's a lot of noise. And then when you look, you find out that there's absolutely nothing. But there are cars that would even come and park you, not even know. That's cars that came intentionally. I'm on my way to paradise. I'm on my way to paradise. I'm on my way to paradise. Prophesy to yourself. Yes, I'm on my way to paradise. No matter what I see around me now, I'm on my way to paradise. I'm on my way. On my way. On my way. Hallelujah. So why faith? Hebrews chapter 11. It will be a long reading. It's an archive of men and women who demonstrated unto us the reality of faith. Let's read it. Please pay attention. We are studying the word of God tonight. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Verse 2. It says, For by it, the elders obtain what? A good report. Next verse. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Now watch this. The Bible starts we see certain formations happening. The Bible gives us a character of faith. Then we see certain people mentioned called elders. Are we together? Then we see a formation that faith is able to form realities. And then we see the word of God coming into the picture. Now, I want you to study how these realities begin to piece themselves. Faith, substance, evidence, report or results. Are we together? understanding the word of God. You see these things piecing up together. Then the Bible says, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Verse 4. Let's see how far we can go. Now, the first character in the Bible, the Bible calls them elders. Interestingly, the first elder in the Bible is called who? Not Adam. Not Cain. This is, this is a teaching on its own. I'm telling you, I like enjoying myself when I talk about these things. Believe you me, I plan to do the same this night. By faith, Abel did what? Offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice by faith than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts and by it, he being dead yet speaketh. So by faith, a man offered unto God a what? More excellent sacrifice. Is it not interesting that the first thing God uses to describe faith is giving? We are going to lions, but the Bible talks of offering a more excellent sacrifice. It takes faith to be a giver. Cain gave, but he was a miser. And God said the reason why he mised was he did not have faith. Are we together? It was out of faith that Abel took sacrifice as though that was all he had. 
and gave unto God. Meaning greed. Listen. Selfishness of all sorts is traceable to what? Lack of faith. That at any point in a man's life, he is a withholder and not a giver. I don't mean money. A giver of anything. It is because of fear of the continuity of the supply. And the Bible says it's lack of faith. Number two, five. By faith, the second elder we see in the Bible is who? Now, Enoch was the seventh man from creation, theologically speaking. Enoch was the seventh man from creation. And then from Abel, he just jumps to Enoch and says, by faith, Enoch was what? Translated. 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 Kabarato satire. By faith, a man can leave a level to another. By faith. I know this is talking of translation out of this realm. But you need to understand what this meant. Enoch translated from one territory to another by faith. Like a man can leave poverty to wealth. Like a man can leave sickness. It says if you want to experience translation, it will happen how? By faith. That he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had a testimony. Notice how pleasing God is tied to faith. It seems like God's obsession is not just praise and worship. God's obsession is that he can find men who have faith in him. Every time you see the manifestation of faith, you see God smiling. The Bible gives you a picture that he's happy. He's well pleased. Number three. And without faith, it is what? Impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is. The word is there means he exists. He exists. And then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hear what the Bible says. For everyone that seeketh, findeth. It's important we get this foundation. Seven. Let's see how far we'll go. By faith, Noah comes in now. Noah, Kalabakotaya, be warned of God of things not seen as yet. When God was warning Noah, there was no evidence that those things were coming. The same way God is saying you will prosper and there is no evidence. But Noah moved in advance. He didn't wait to say, let me see a cloud first. He started building the ark when the sun was shining bright and Bible calls it faith. Now, I hope you, those who did mathematics, everybody did mathematics, whether you like it or not. I'm not asking you whether you passed. I'm saying you did it. Are we together? Now, listen. A good teacher does not give two examples and set examples. No. When they give you, especially a difficult aspect of mathematics, they give you as many examples. And those examples have variations of the way the underlying principles are applied. Is that true? Uh-huh. It's supposed to help you familiarize you with the different ways. This is what the Bible is doing. We're working maths here. Are we together? So the Bible begins to give you different people. Do you know everything the Bible is saying about them is the same? He's only using different human examples to show you different applications. How men maneuvered circumstances. By faith. So by faith. Noah being warned of God of things. Not seen as yet. Moved with fear. The word fear there is reverence. Prepared an ark. To the saving of his house. 100 years. It took Noah to build an ark. How many years have you waited for your miracle? Let me hear it please. Six months. And you're already saying Lord. If by November. A man moved by faith for 100 years. How long do you have to live on earth to spend 100 years building an ark? I'm sure the children, when they gave birth to their children, they said, we, we grew up seeing our grandfather. What exactly is this project? And Noah said, the rain will come. And the children said, well, I'm now a teenager. I, I believe the rain will come. And God kept watching and says, it was by faith. 
Listen, let me tell you something. I'm going to break down faith for you to really understand. And then you will know that many people really do not believe in God. Many of you at the end of this teaching, you will tell God, I'm sorry. Because you will find out that you really should not receive a result. Amen. Next verse. By faith. Now Abraham comes in. I like the Bible. How many people now? Abel, help me. Enoch, uh huh. Noah, Abraham. It says, by faith, Abraham, when he was called out to go into a place, that means your destiny must be fulfilled by faith. God called a man. Are you seeing now? So we see by faith to do different things. Translation. Now we are seeing he's talking about destiny here. An inheritance. By faith. You are not the first person to graduate and wonder what to do with your life. There was a man in the awe of the Chaldeans. Awe of the Chaldeans called Abraham. And the Bible says when he was called to go out to a place which he should after receive an inheritance obeyed it says and he went out help me please that's the faith part of it not knowing whither he went go to lagos yes lord what are you doing in lagos obeying god you are stupid god what do you say you are a man of faith abraham don't turn there genesis 22 Genesis 12. Come out of your father's house and out of your kindred and out of all of these. Listen, to a land that I will show you. No name. The assignment is follow me. And the Bible says Abraham gathered his house and says, gentlemen, we're off. Let's go. May you surround people in your life who can let you obey God. Yeah. There are times, let me just say this in advance. There are times certain people will love you too much to allow you obey God especially for we young people because our parents many of them even those who were not born again walked by faith are we together the last time their father saw them was from one they used to call it from one the next time the person came he came with the lady he would marry a master's holder how he survived the father did not know one heavy box and a blessing don't drink don't follow women be hard working the god that kept me keep you enter a boat and go and the father had confidence that the boy will not die after eight years he now came back and said daddy god is faithful i now have a house a car how did it happen by faith but now you see someone of 30, they say, I think you should start settling. I say, hey, mommy, I will take it gently. Just buy me blanket, buy me sugar, buy me tea. Don't laugh. We have been so pampered that the system of faith is eroding our minds. So whenever we say faith, many people just laugh. That's the reason why there are very few people who really do much i'm not even talking ministry in the kingdom in our lives this over pampering are we together now auxiliary faith okay uncle i'll take the first step but make sure you are standing by look at what he told peter he said fear not jesus speaking it is i and peter said if it be thou bid me come jesus said come faith faith Let's read to verse 10. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs of him, with him of the same promise. Uh -huh. For he looked for a city whose builder and maker is who? The Lord. Next verse. Through faith, the first woman now, also an elder the first woman through faith Sarah herself received what so how do men receive strength in the kingdom you don't receive strength in the kingdom just by eating a good meal 
although that is important she received strength and conceived seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful now notice that among all these people the common denominator is that they did or said something are we together there was nobody whose testimony was just passive the bible tells us something they did something they said something they did something they said let me say this up front faith is not hearing what god has said faith is fulfilling your own part your own part Let's go to verse 17. I want to jump. Verse 17. Are we together? By faith, Abraham now, when he was tested, did what? Or tried? Offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son of whom it was said in Isaac shall thy seed be called sacrifice by faith sacrifice by faith now the Bible talks of Isaac Jacob Joseph let's go to 23 and look at Moses the Bible dwells for I don't know why but it seems to me like Moses was the person the Bible dwelt so much in. All of the people who the Bible talked about faith, even Abraham, who we call to be the father of faith, the Bible just spoke about him. But for Moses, the Bible seemed to dwell and talk a lot about Moses, which I found interesting. Let's read on. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was did what? Was he three months of his parents because they saw that he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's command? You understand the act of faith. They put him in a basket and pushed him to the Nile, trusting God to take care of him. Next verse. Then by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called what? Refused to be called by faith. Just like you refuse to be called um, any name that seems derogatory, any name that comes from a background that can destroy you. Oh, you are all the poor ones. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? He said by faith, seeing something, he refused. Choosing rather, think about this, to suffer affliction. Listen, there are certain kinds of afflictions that the Bible says you must go through them by faith. It's a choice. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When a lady refuses to say yes to an unbeliever, and instead of marrying two years before that time now remains single because she refused to say yes to an unbeliever by faith waiting for a godly man she believes to be her husband the bible calls it to suffer affliction not every act of faith looks pleasant in the process in fact let me tell you something a major part of the journey of faith will make you look stupid because you are forfeiting we call it in economics opportunity cost you forgo something for the excellency of what is waiting for you than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for what a season 26 esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward and so on and so forth and um, let me look for somewhere now I mean the Bible talks about him right well let's read let's read really let's read down to um, 30 where it goes to Joshua now we're reading down to 30 you see how much 
a lot was talked about Moses. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. 28, we are reading down to 30. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed, the destroyer now, the firstborn should touch them. 29. This is the last of the talk about Moses. By faith they passed through the Red Sea. As by dry land. Which the Egyptians are saying to do. The Egyptians tried it but they didn't do it by faith. So they died. Are you seeing now? Now let's talk of the wall of Jericho. Verse 30. By faith the walls of Jericho did what? Not by strength. By faith. We saw them going around. Walking around Jericho. Are you understanding the character of faith already? Every one of these people did something. Whoever tells you faith happens. Without your commitment lied to you. I'm showing you all through. The common denominator to all these things. Is that they believed God and there was a demand on their own part to respond by saying, by doing, by keeping their own part. So their obedience upgraded the promises of God to a covenant. The walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. Read 31. By faith, ah, yeah, yeah, the second woman. Look at the name the Bible calls her. Now, this is interesting. Why didn't he just say by faith, Rahab? I think we are smart enough to know. Then he says, by faith, Kalabakata. A woman who was a harlot changed her story. By faith, the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believe not meaning she was part of them she was destined to perish please is that true what is the wages of sin help me what is the wages of sin that means there is a system in god where men can change prophecy there is a system in god where men can alter obvious consequences the key is faith he first tells you her credentials she was a harlot do you know what it means to earn a right to stay on a wall so that whoever is passing sees you before even seeing the king? By faith, she changed her report. Everyone died in Jericho except Rahab. Not only did she not die, she forced herself into the genealogy of Jesus. When she had received the spies with peace, and what more can I say? I really wonder. What more do you need to hear? You, you see, I'm understanding what Paul is saying. Paul is saying, if by now you don't see the synergy, what more can I say? He says, for time would do what? To fail me, to talk of others. There were other elders in the Bible. Let's name them. Gideon. And of Barak. And of Samson. And of Jephthah. And of David also and Samuel and of the prophets there were many next verse who did what through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness uh -huh. obtained promises stopped the mouths of lions next verse quench the violence of fire look at that i wonder why nigerian actors have never acted a film this powerful men who did this by faith produce a film and call it by faith exploits in the spirit they escaped the edge of the sword men who looked at death eyeball to eyeball and say you will not kill me and then the Bible now says out of weakness were made what? Men who were born weak but refused that they would not die weak. Works valiant in fight. Turn to flight the armies of the aliens. Then listen to this. Women 
receive their dead raised back to life and then the bible quickly puts a very strange balance it says and others were tortured not accepting that means they did not die out of the power of death conquering them the bible says they rejected deliverance willingly they discovered in their knowledge of god that to die is gain and they said i can live but let me prove to god how much i trust him and they said it is within my power to command deliverance but i reject it faith it did say they died out of weakness please don't confuse this they died they had do you know there are many people today who died when we get to heaven they will tell you they were offered an opportunity to leave but they saw something higher and they said let's go the bible calls it faith now you mourn them and try to look for hilarious stories but they are they have joined those elders it's a list it's a roll call there are many people shortlisting themselves there it says not accepting deliverance that they may do what obtain a better resurrection i'm going somewhere with all this and you will soon see next verse and others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings you are not the first to be laughed at are we together yea moreover of bonds and of imprisonment imprisonment they were stoned and they were sown asunder now you don't like this koinonia is quiet but the bible tells you beforehand that these men had the power they were not helpless bible history makes it look like they were helpless the bible says they they had the power to command deliverance but they saw something higher and by faith they stood they were slain with the sword they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. Of whom the world, there are such men that the world was not worthy of. They walked upon the earth. Have you been given something that you say is a privilege? There are men who they are walking upon the earth, it's a blessing to the earth. The Bible says it's a privilege. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. 39. I want you to read 39 and the next verse, I believe verse 40. Am I, am I right? Yes, 39 and 40. Read it with all your heart and your spirit. Ready? One to read. And this all, uh-huh having obtained a good report through faith receive not what now read on next verse god having provided some better thing for us that they without us there is a dimension of the manifestation of faith that God is trusting our generation to reveal. And the Bible calls it the perfection of all these elders. As great as their exploits are and were, the Bible says that God had provided some better thing for us. That they without us should not be made perfect. Now, theologically speaking, there's been two schools of thought just explaining this scripture. A lot of people mean this to be the dispensation of grace because you would notice that all the people who were communicated were largely old testament people are we together now and so the better promises that many people think uh they say that it is because these people suffered in the dispensation of the lord the old testament and now we have access to grace the substitutionary work of christ now that is true but i don't believe that is all are we together that is true but the death of christ in itself afforded us a higher platform to manifest faith are we together mm. an example of such opportunities is the possibility to live by the faith of the son of god now this was a possibility they did not experience but that a man can tap into a higher frequency of faith called the faith of the son of god not just your faith the faith 
of the son of God you can bring God's faith to an operation and get results this is a better promise but that's not what we are talking about I'm showing you men who did strange things through faith and so if you and I must make impact in our generation it will have to be how by faith through faith by faith through faith so how are you going to build that house how are you going to change the story of your family by faith how are you going to get out of that sickness and infirmity please understand what i'm saying there is the chronicles of ordinary men who dare to believe god and change a lot of things so faith is, is, is important to please God and we have a testament of men and women who walked by faith. The next thing I want us to look at is the word of God. Let's look at the word of God. Being that this is the instrument that produces faith, it is important for us to look at the character, and I'll be very brief, the character of the word of God. Write this down, please. The word of God, whether spoken or written, the word of God, whether spoken or written, contains the life of God. The word of God, whether, whether spoken or written, contains the life of God. The word of God, whether written or spoken, contains the life of God. Number two, write it. The word of God is a representation of his commitment to man. The word of God is a representation. I want you to write this. We're looking at the character. A representation of his commitment to man. Like you have a covenant, like you have a contract between two people. So the testament of his commitment to man. Number three. The word of God represents his will for man. Now this is important. We are going to dwell a little here. The word of God represents his will. Comes from the Greek word logos. Where we get the word word. Logos. The thoughts of a man. The will of a man. The intention of a man. So the word of God represents his intention. His will. His will. It's a legal term. His will for man. Number four, the word of God is the basis, the basis for contact with man. The word of God is the basis for contact with man. I'm giving you certain characters of the word of God as far as the manifestation of faith is concerned. The word of God is the basis for contact with man. That means that the Holy Spirit remains helpless until the word of God creates the platform for contact with man. Number five, the word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action. The word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action God is moved to the feelings of our infirmities but not to action the word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action write this down the word of God contains instructions prophecies promises the word of God contains instructions, prophecies, promises. 
also contains principles are we getting blessed now please look up everyone please look up now there's been a lot of argument in the body of Christ as to whether this should be called the word of God the word Bible comes from the word Biblios and that just means a book nothing special really it just means a book are we together now theologically speaking for many years in the church age they did not have a compendium of 66 books like this there are other schools of thought that argue how that there are many chapters and verses that are missing in the Bible there are many chapters and verses that were added that should not have been in the Bible are we together now and how that there are other books of the Bible like there are arguments about the apocryphal books the apocrypha the Roman Catholics use that a lot and then there are other books the books of Jasha there are other books called the annals of the kings there is the book of Enoch are we together now now all these books together have been argued by theologians some of them believe that it should be contained since the character of scripture is that all scripture was inspired of God are we together and that anything that is of God should give spirit and life so I'm, I'm just giving you an educational background on this so that you will understand so there has been a lot of argument in fact currently um, I know that there was a time certain uh, I think a Rab Rabonical Association also came up with certain things and they felt that a lot should be edited in scripture now the Old Testament was written in Hebrew say Hebrew and uh, the New Testament was written largely in Greek and Aramaic are we together now these people wrote these scriptures but they were not in charge of its translation there's no point to give you the whole story of Bible history how that this translation were in bits and pieces some of these pages were missing for many years and then they were found together with what we call the Dead Sea Scrolls and then it was at the time of King James King James he was a real king ancient king called King James not ancient like modern history now King James who authorized the publication of a compendium of these 66 books that we call the Bible are we together now so all the 66 books old and new testament together are called now i'm not the point of all of this is not to create a debate about other extra biblical texts or some exaggerations that were done here that's not the idea one thing we know for sure is this listen every man who contributed in the writing of this was imperfect as a person that means if God allowed them to still rob their imperfection it means the mystery is not in the letters are you getting what I'm saying now please you must understand what I'm teaching you we're examining faith Elijah was a temperous man the Bible is a compendium of many things demons spoke in this Bible is that true donkeys spoke in this Bible are we together men spoke in this Bible people lied in this Bible people use divination in this Bible so the fact that it is written here does not automatically mean it is of God you have to get this so when the Bible or when we talk about the Word of God we are not talking about just the opening of anything because you see we must balance this there are believers who say if you can show me in the Bible I will do it that means you are going to get into error the, the Bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything you want there are Habalists today when you enter their shrine you see other books and you see a very clean Bible there are we together and they will read a scripture and instruct you based on that scripture and because it is in the Bible you will believe I should walk no so I want us to examine what the Word of God is listen to my message uh, I think the living logos I done a teaching years ago on that what exactly is the Word of God because none of the Apostles in the early church in fact even up till um, Emperor Emperor Nero Constantine and all of these people they never had the opportunity to hold a Bible like this it was a taboo they were kept in temples 
Are we together? And then, of course, when the people of God were caught in different kinds of captivities, they were hidden and taken from place to place to arrive like this as a compendium. A lot happened to them. Are we together? But the Bible says, let the word of Christ, Colossians 3 verse 16, dwell in you richly. So I want to ask you a question. How did the disciples grow in the word? When Jesus resurrected, I want you to go back to the book of Acts. When an average believer got up in the morning, what did he study and how did he study? Are we together? You would only go to the temple. We do it in the Anglican. For those of us who are inclined Anglican and maybe Presbyterians to do this, they have what we call first reading and second reading. Is that true? Where you come up, you read, this is the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. And then, you know, that continues. And then there are parts uh, where you recite, you know, the, the Apostles' Creed and so on and so forth like that. Now, other Pentecostal circles do not have the privilege of having that kind of thing. You just come, you preach, and then you end. This was how it was in Jewish temples. The priest, one of the, all of those people, would come up and give you one of the scrolls. They had messages for every time. So you would read it and roll it back and, and keep it. And then they could preach from it. They could speak for it and, and so on and so forth. Now, if you don't understand this that I'm teaching, three things will happen to you. Number one, you can fall into the error of absorbing the letters blindly and believing that you are growing in the word because you are consuming these letters. That's the first error. Or number two, you can just say, since this is not the word of God, let me throw it away and destroy your spiritual life. There are people today, now, you know, I was talking with a few people and they were talking to me and said, look, the use of iPads, and, and now please, I don't have, if you are using devices here, that's the, the, the goal is not to, to um, um, discredit you on all of that, we're in the 21st century. But I think a, a group of gentlemen were talking to me and they said, Apostle, what is your take on the use of iPad? As far as the revelation of the word of God, we have is concerned. Because, because our concept of scripture is that I'm holding a book. A man of God even said in Revelations, God told John, write, not type. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, see, personally, I honestly, I honestly believe, see, there's something about holding this thing. There is a chemistry between the letters of this book and your eyes. I, I absolutely believe that. But I don't have a problem. I mean, I have all kinds of things. We use it on our devices, phones, laptops, and, and whatever you have. What is the word of God? Write this down. Let's define what the word of God is. Since this is the instrument for producing faith, write this down. The word of God is any communication. The word of God is any communication or any platform, any communication or any platform where the voice of God the ways of God write it down where the voice of God the ways of God and the life of God can be accessed the word of God is any communication or any platform where the voice of God please listen the ways of God and what? The life of God can be. That means what I am speaking to you now. If it contains the voice of God. If it contains, listen, the ways that is the principles of God. And if it is capable of releasing the life of God. What is this called? The word of God. Meaning as I'm speaking to you now. What I am saying is worthy of being written here. 
the only thing is that i was not part of those who were specifically you know brought together to make the 66 books god's idea is not for us to be limited by 66 books god's idea is that our lives become a continuation of the books that are written here are, are we together so god's ultimate goal is not for you to be sound in scripture but that you become it an expression that's why the bible says we are living epistles say living epistles so that look at how it is if you read something like verily verily i say unto you the words that i speak listen they are spirit and they are life are we together god's idea is not just for me to read it but become that scripture so that whoever does not have an opportunity and left his bible at home can also read it in me are you getting the point so imagine every believer like a page in the scripture releasing certain possibilities men were not supposed to know god just by reading the bible they were supposed to know god by interacting with the church so that way before anybody opens this book you should open the book and say oh so this is an explanation so this attitude is called kindness are you getting what i'm saying ah uh, some of you are lost let's come again i want to deliver you from religion listen 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 the power is not just in cramming scriptures the power is in the words that are written here that the holy spirit can use this word to forge something upon your spirit so that you become an expression of it not just a talker of it and that's where we destroy ourselves the word of god is not greek the word of god is not hebrew listen the word of god is not english the word of god is any platform for accessing him listen if there is a way i can make this become the voice of god and a platform to speak a particular scripture within the period of that miracle this is the word of god how do i teach this now help me holy spirit if i prophesy to you and i say hey, Jimmy, may the lord bless you and it happens do you know what why it happened because what i have spoken is the word of god it was a platform where the life of god could flow to him if i use oil to lay on your head the oil works because the word of god is on it so the word of god is not the writings about god the writings about god how many of you know granite now this bible is like the granite the real granite do you just eat the thing like that you open it but you cannot access what is inside until you come to it are you getting what i'm saying see brothers and sisters that is why many people read this but they cannot get faith i'm going to show you something how faith comes but we must understand the character and the word of god i read a lot i study the bible but i have the consciousness that i am an expression of the word of god are we together now so when you come to me i don't run and open the bible and say this verse is this verse that uh -uh. that i left my bible at home does not mean the word of god is at home the word of god is living and active it's your bible I'm, I'm teaching you your bible see i'm showing you why we don't get results i can hold this against a witch and put it under my bed and snore myself into a terrible dream are we together i may think that because this was under my pillow it does not have any power in itself the power is released listen when this is studied by faith by faith means that you believe that although these are letters 
the spirit of god can breathe upon this this is what logos you see the word logos and rema that people are speaking rema is not just the revealed word rema is when the breath of the spirit comes upon this letter it's like the breaking of the ground not seed and all of a sudden you can receive it so you don't need to recite the scripture you only need to have the life thereof the recitation of the scripture is to add to your excellence in communication and to strengthen your conviction it is not the recitation in my name they shall cast out devils Jesus did not say if you stand before people the name he said is not Jesus we mentioned Jesus so that they will know that the office we are acting upon is the Christ the name is not Jesus the name is Lord and Lord is a revelation it means absolute master sovereign controller so I look at a spirit I'm not speaking but I'm casting him in the name of Jesus the name of Jesus is not a recitation in the name of J-E-S-U-S be healed no the name of Jesus is an office So whether I am talking or not is still the name of Jesus. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Jesus meets somebody, a madman in Gadara. The demons beg him and beg him and say, don't cast out. What did he say? Go. Now that word go, you say it and it may not work. Because the go is not just G-O. The go was simply an, a voice activated communicator of the word of God. Whatever he said, even if he said come, they still would have gone. It's not, it's not like they needed intelligent English because they, they spoke good English. The demons say we understand. No. Please don't be excited for nothing. I really want you to get this thing. Are we together? the word of god is not just about your voice the word of god is about an understanding that makes you become a platform for his life so as i am walking down i'm giving the word of god expression if i happen to open my mouth and speak to you i have given the word of god more expression that is the reason why a donkey could still communicate the word of god that is why handkerchiefs and aprons they were taken could the handkerchief speak they could not speak but they were going by the word of god jesus sent men in his name they were not born again yet they returned with results they said the demons were subject to us through thy name hallelujah why do we study the bible write this quickly we study the Bible for three major reasons. Number one, we study the Bible because contained in the Word of God, contained in the Bible as we know. Now I can call it interchangeably the Word of God, you understand. The Bible contains the most accurate dealing of God with man. The Bible contains the most accurate dealing of God with man. We study it because it's the most accurate historical compendium of God's dealing with man. There are many history books, but the Bible gives us the most accurate compendium, historically speaking, of God's dealings with man. Number two, the Bible contains principles, promises, prophecies from God to man. The Bible contains principles, promises, prophecies from God to man. So we study so that we can have an understanding of these things. Number three. We study the Bible because it is the only book we study the Bible because it is the only book that can authorize the Holy Spirit 
to make manifest what is written therein we study the bible because it is the only book that can authorize the spirit of god or the holy spirit to make manifest the things that are written therein no other spirit is legally authorized to manifest everything written here now it does not mean other spirits cannot manifest what is written here but only the holy ghost is authorized to back up to make manifest meaning listen listen meaning if i read the bible and i see by his stripes i am healed now listen when the word of god contained is released in my spirit because of this book is giving me access to that word of god now the holy spirit is authorized to make real that which i have believed from the book are you getting what i'm saying now a time is going to come maybe not in this current church age but a time is going to come we are not going to read this again i hope you know <laughs> yeah a time will come we will not read this but we'll continue growing in the word a time is going to come we will not read this again it's not heresy it will not be in this dispensation the book of revelation ends with the beginning of a new dispensation we do not yet know what will happen therein the same way before our time it was only from acts chapter one you know when the church was born and now our dispensation has had the privilege of access to read this are we together other saints believers still in our dispensation did not read this yet the word of god was mighty in them for instance apollos the bible says he was even mighty in scripture this is where we miss it we read the letters and ben hadad the king of syria gathered all the hosts together gather me oh god gather me gather me oh god you see now listen listen that looks very sincere but the word of god is not on that statement i'm being careful so you don't feel offended but it's the truth i want to teach you how faith works do you know for many years i really didn't understand how faith worked until one time i i took out i studied almost 11 people those who represented men of faith from bishop oyedeko to kenneth copeland and his wife to dr frederick casey price to all of the men hallmarks of faith ew kenyon i sat down with these people and i started seeing it i said so this is where we're missing it we recite scriptures and believe that the recitation is where the power is released no sir are we together am i discrediting the reading of the word of god of course not of course not you can see how old this bible is it was not like that something made it so it's called diligence diligence until the bible you you see it i don't know how many times i've laminated this bible again and again i've read it to a point that the pages i can close my eyes you say matthew okay i mean isaiah i wanted to try you know i can literally open any page everywhere is marked up and down so i believe it but i found out that many of us keep accumulating this and then we wonder why things are not working for us the word of god is the spirit and the life of god the spirit and the life of God the spirit and the life of God whether released by the reading of these letters or communicated through the speaking of the Holy Spirit faith comes now let's discuss faith we're back to faith Romans 10 19 Romans 10 17 is God helping us tonight I'm working this thing with us because I want us to understand faith. We are going to pray. Romans 10, 19. Read it please. 10, 17. One to read. Uh-huh. Now, the word hearing. Let me correct two things. The word hearing, the first hearing is a very broad word. It does not just mean faith comes by using your ears. 
are we together the word hearing is a very broad word and there are many synonyms you can add to it number one is perception 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 faith comes by perceiving not just hearing with the ear alone like speaking to you physically faith comes by perception because when you read your bible you don't hear anything correct you don't hear what you read like this you can hear through your ears and remember even about hearing the bible says he that has an ear meaning not everybody has this kind of ear are we together so the first hearing there means perception any platform that can create perception it's not just limited to hearing and then the second hearing there means understanding or comprehension i want you to correct that not necessarily in your bible i'm not saying it's wrong so faith comes by perceiving and understanding and that by the word of god that's how faith comes when you just read it and it says hearing and hearing there is a dimension of application it means listening again and again and that can help but the accurate picture is perception and understanding everybody say perception say understanding the second hearing there is understanding understandest what thou readest on that was where the problem was the utopian enoch he was not reading he was reading but understandest what thou readest perception so when i'm studying the word of god the bible now and i'm reading it the moment perception can come out of it the word of god has come into my spirit i don't have to hear now when i'm listening to bible on tape or hearing a preacher teach like this and the word of god comes it is still hearing so when we say hearing i don't just mean your ears your ears your eyes your dreams your visions any platform that can create perception can impart faith mm. listen listen there are people who have had dreams and got up from those dreams are we together and took certain actions those dreams brought solid conviction to their lives i shared with you about the encounter that i had with jesus christ now that encounter is not written in the bible that joshua selman will have an encounter but in that encounter i told you jesus did not speak to me he never opened his mouth to speak yet he spoke so many things i left that encounter full of faith and stephen full of faith where did he read anything that we see faith there Do not limit your Bible study to just hearing and reading. Any platform that creates the perception of the word can release faith. So the first is perception. The most common platform of perception is hearing your ears because you hear sounds, sounds. So as I'm speaking to you now, if you cover your ears, it's difficult for you to read my lips. Do you know why I'm speaking this to you? How do the blind deaf and dumb receive faith how do the blind deaf and dumb receive faith if someone is blind if someone is deaf if someone is dumb are you saying faith cannot come to him are we together you see people go to crusade grounds completely deaf Meaning as a man of God is preaching, other people are jumping. They themselves are not even following. Yet at the end, they are healed. And we are going to be finding out later that their faith healed them. So how did it come? Question two. A dead man who cannot breathe, cannot talk, cannot do anything. How does he come back to life? What is the principle of resurrection? And then, how did the bones of Elijah, not breathing, still transfer the anointing to somebody? Everybody say the word of God. That thing you call the bones of Elijah was the word of God. Any platform that can release the life of God. Thank you, Jesus.
say after me the word of God is not limited to my hearing thank you the word of God is not limited to my hearing alone the word of God can come into my spirit through any mechanism that can create perception and understanding are you getting what I'm saying meaning the word of God can come to you through a Christian music now you are listening to a song play something play what you are playing watch this listen if this guy is anointed hallelujah okay that's all right that's all right thank you look at what this guy is playing play it are you hearing any words english is there hebrew is there your language i want you to follow me carefully are we together now but you see the anointing that is released from this i can put the word of god on this sound now and you will see miracles happening are you getting it now <laughs> i can put it by saying then this noun, the sound that leaves this keyboard does not become an ordinary sound. It becomes the word of God. Why? A platform that can release the life of God, the power of God. Are you getting what I'm saying now? You will hear it and somebody now will come under the anointing and you are wondering the operation of the word of God. This is ordinary keyboard. That's how you can be listening to worship in your room and faith is rising. You are not exactly reading any scripture per se yet faith is rising because through it the word of god is coming are you getting what i'm saying the word of god the word of god is at work in me the presence of the holy spirit in my life is a sign that i was born of the word if you are not born of the word he cannot come because he comes in response to the word so i am born of the word of god new life is in me so the holy spirit is comfortable to live in me are we together and every time that spirit and life is in me he can release what is being said now i can speak it to happen but i don't have to speak it alone to happen i just need to create a platform for it to happen look let me tell you brothers and sisters if you believe this you will know why we pray for the sick not necessarily having to say be healed you just touch them and you're saying sir you see some somebody who tried to say here yeah, this is where the pain is and you are touching his head how does touching the head heal pain at the back is the word of god you are only placing the word of god on them so you have become an expression of the word the word became flesh that's what you have now become so you are not only reading scripture you are the word becoming flesh the word becoming flesh when you play keyboard you transfer the word of god to it this is what is called the ministration of life the ministration of life you are transferring life you are transferring life to that word are, are we together now so when you put the word of god upon this now deliverance begins to happen healings begin to happen a sinner can sit down that's why people come for concerts and at the end of it you make an altar call and they come out you didn't teach john 3 16 but the word of god convicted them because it came from the music i want you to understand faith i really want you to understand faith this may look complicated but as we continue you will see how it ties up it will make your life powerful i don't move around hoping that demons will respond to my quoting of scripture i know a lot of scripture to the glory of god but i am a life-giving spirit i am a life-giving spirit my body has become a communicator of the word of god the spirit and the life of god so if i shake you for instance shake me femi if i shake you i release the life and the power of god are you seeing that if i shake you i release the life and the power of god you may be sick i may not know but as soon as i leave you you find out i've been healed now i did not ask you whether you are sick the word of god saw a need and because i have become the word of god it feels it immediately 
are we together say I'm a manifestation of the Word of God please I want you to say it I am a manifestation of the Word of God say this my goal for studying scripture my goal for studying scripture is not just to be learned but to be an expression of the Word of God my goal for studying scripture is not just to have head knowledge it's not just to be learned but to be a walking Bible so when men look at your life they can read a scripture immediately through your life living epistles we fool ourselves in the body of Christ that because we have finished the Bible cover to cover and by God's grace I've done this many times so we say I've read the Bible cover to cover if I'm a man of God as I'm speaking the Bible says blah, blah, blah. And, and once they are talking these spirits are saying my God these guys don't even know what the Word of God is we fool ourselves and at the end of it nothing happens are we together and then somebody comes with a saxophone or a guitar and starts playing anywhere you see the manifestation of the power of God the Word of God must have preceded it because the Holy Spirit is not authorized to manifest when the Word of God has not gone ahead so when you see the Word of God moving when you see the Holy Spirit moving he's confirming the Word confirming the Word whether spoken or revealed the manifestation of the Word of God the manifestation of the word of God I tell you as I as I speak this thing you see sometimes because we are talking about the word of God and we're dividing it accurately to open up these things the Spirit of God let me tell you something about the Holy Spirit the moment you begin to communicate the word of God very accurately it's like his body is itching him he wants to move he wants to confirm it I'm telling you how to confirm the word it's not Holy Spirit move move that's not it let the word of God be communicated accurately and it's like it's like he cannot I'm not talking of just shaking under the anointing I'm talking of signs and wonders and miracles you place the word of God upon everything the word of God is on the air the word of God is on your chair everything that can communicate the word of God that's what makes the anointing when the word of God saturates a place the Holy Spirit follows everywhere the word goes the Holy Spirit follows everywhere the word goes if the word goes to your kidney he's following it there if the word goes to your academics he's following it there if the word goes to your business you don't get the Holy Spirit to move outside the word of God It's witchcraft so send the word of God and the Holy Spirit follows the word are we together yeah you send the word of God and the spirit moves in that direction so if I declare that I prophesy to your finances if the Holy Spirit does not back that then it was not the Word of God even if I quote scripture are we together so the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is proof that the Word of God has been released in a place the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is proof that his word has been released we pride ourselves with theological knowledge we pride ourselves with knowledge of scriptures John chapter 3 verse 16 for God so loved the world but it's not the Word of God so the Holy Spirit cannot back it please hear what I'm teaching you the Holy Spirit only comes to the scene when the Word of God is released whether through speaking or through any platform including your body being a manifestation so when you want to see the energy of the spirit released then be sure that what you are speaking or doing is the Word of God are you getting what I'm saying now mm. if it's not the Word of God you are not going to get the Holy Spirit here please hear me the degree to which we have seen the miraculous is the extent to which the Word of God has come out so you can speak hundred words only 20 of them are the Word of God the Holy Spirit backs only 20% of your communication are you getting what I'm saying this is the difference between what we call anointed people they may not have all the verses 
but their bodies have become greater platforms to release the word of God so the Holy Spirit in answer to the word confirms them are we together I'm a carrier of the word of God not just by cramming scriptures I have read it but the word of God flows through me like water the spirit and the life of God I understand the principles as I walk in the consciousness of that principle and with the understanding every time I utter my word or respond in any direction as the Holy Spirit would direct that's what we call faith I will tell you what faith is now faith is your response to and from the Word of God not just scriptures your response to the Word of God so you have to make it be sure that what you are responding to is not just scripture but the Word of God and it is called faith and that faith will bring performance more on that next week I'm not talking so much about I need you to understand the Word of God so that when we begin to teach on the dynamics the operation of faith you will know why certain things are not happening in our lives our idea of faith largely has been correct assimilation of scripture correct recitation of the same and then expectation in hope that something will happen it will never work that way are we together John 3 16 for this and that and that and that happened for we know the grace of our Lord that though he was poor yet he became rich so that we through his poverty might be, and we wrap it and we say Lord this is your word respond and say no it is true that I spoke that through the servants but you are only speaking scripture theologically listen let me tell you if the word of God was just scripture then the scribes should be have been the greatest carriers of the word they knew the entire Pentateuch of heart and Jesus looked at them and said ye are not knowing the scripture he said you search the scripture for a thing in them you will find life and you will not come to me listen if Jesus appears here and somebody is writing a book the Bible says scripture testified of him is that true scripture listen if you are writing a book about me and I show up who is a more authentic medium are you getting what I'm saying now so the scribes had head knowledge that prophesied about Jesus when Jesus came they said no Jesus we don't want you but we want the scrolls and he said you are hypocrites you read the scrolls they talk about me now you're reading I am here as the word become flesh you are rejecting me yet you are doing Bible study and Jesus said you are hypocrites are we together but a woman just ran and said thou I mean blind but if I may but touch the hem of who the word of God she perceived she didn't read anywhere but she saw men looking and she said I have heard and something has happened in my spirit I perceive and I understand that this man has power to heal there is nowhere in scripture where she read that you should take a step of faith she created an action based on her perception God honored that action and she was healed I'll teach you that next week don't take action until you perceive and understand the word you will be wasting your time so we take many steps do you know people can come and stand here with their tight frowning no perception no discernment no understanding all these men of God am I sure a Jimmy's tie I'm looking at this tie I hope it's not my money that is going to buy another tie and you are there grumbling and arguing and you drop that and the Bible says whatever is not of faith is sin now men of God will not tell you that because they need the money so they'll say no problem unbelief or not that's your business just drop it let's use it but I'm telling you the sincere truth it must be by faith so here's what the Bible says Hebrews 11 verse 6 Hebrews 11 verse 6 give it to us please goodness Hebrews 11 verse 6 Hebrews 11 verse 6 I want us to read it now you will understand all that I've taught you there is a protocol to faith ready want to read <laughs> but without faith it is impossible to please him full stop whoever wants to be a man of faith what is the first step 
it says for he that comes to God must believe not his word leave the issue of manifestation you must believe that he exists it your perception must on you must understand the person you are dealing with the integrity of his person and his ability to provide for you number one then number two that he's a rewarder that he's a rewarder there are two things god wants to be known for to release faith one that he exists his existence means a lot because if he exists then he's mighty if he exists then he can hear my god's not dead he's surely alive he's living on the inside roaring like a lion there's a song like that have you read have you listened to that song do you believe god is alive i know you will say yes your life does not show it are we together because if you believe it will compel you to take action look at me listen do you believe there is water on this table do you believe do you believe now you can come and carry it do you believe there is water on this table yes you will not come and carry it because you consider it to be a waste of time so do you believe there is god yes so you can relate to him this is why people do not pray they don't believe god is alive let me tell you the truth the revelation behind the life of prayer it's not religious struggles it's not an attempt to compete with people i pray for eight hours you pray for six hours all that is junk prayer is predicated upon an understanding that unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come after the service people are going to be waiting here queuing right to the back because you believe i'm not going what if i just i use style and just run out if i do that for three weeks you will stop standing here because it's a sign that you doubt my ability the first doubt of believers is not even in the power of god to produce that result it's even his existence i know you think this thing i'm telling you is powerful the word of god is guiding us here do you believe god exists it's a very big deal i've given my life to him no problem do you believe he exists He's alive. He's alive. Sing it. He's alive He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. You visit a herbalist you must live with a charm you don't visit whether that charm is a goat or is something you must live with we call them tokens tokens are representations of the existence of something are we together so you go to him i must marry that man put him in a bottle for me and then they carry his picture throw it in a bottle and lock it correct and give you say hide it somewhere for as long let me tell you the devil does not need that bottle he needs your faith and since your faith must be tied on something he gave you a bottle let me tell you why it still works even if you are born again you are born again because although you are born again you truly still you have tasted of the power of that charm something in you still tells you it's working so it continues working the day a higher revelation and a higher anointing contents it stops working a man of god one time was hungry and was passing and he saw a chicken that they had slaughtered for sacrifice he carried the chicken and roasted it and ate do you know why he never believed that that thing can do anything to him he said they shall take up poison who the believers believers in god not in miracles you believe in miracles but do you believe in god we're talking about knowing that god exists you know joshua selman exists but do you believe he exists let me tell you something you are a hypocrite 
if you claim to believe what is written here and don't believe the one who wrote it are we together oh i believe all things are mine do you believe the god who said it lord i don't believe in you but i believe in what you said does that make sense you don't believe in me but you believe in what i said no me and what i have said are one my word is my bond my word represents me when i'm not there you can take my word to represent me if i listen sam if you are dedicating an album and i stand before koinonia listen to me and i say joshua selman on behalf of myself i give you one million naira what is that that's my word now during if you go somewhere and you are doing your calculations you will calculate and say one million naira is coming from apostle have i given you the one million but you know me you believe in me it's up to you now to believe i can deliver it let me tell you what you do you first size me and look at me can apostle really bring out one million naira are we together so when you ascertain that i'm able to do it number two am i willing when you ascertain that you say i believe it so when god says i will bless you your own belief sizes him and says no god you are great but this triplets you are talking about don't don't joke with us so the cure is not just action the action part is hard we are coming to that but if you act upon something you don't believe is a waste if you believe in something and don't act is also a waste are you seeing how we are cleaning it up but we are starting tonight with the understanding of god his word his integrity say i believe in god shout it i believe in god i believe he is alive i believe he exists that's why i love the apostles creed the anglicans recite it all the time right i love it so much because it's an encapsulation it's called it's, it's like a statement of faith sometimes you need to recite what you really believe i believe my business can rise i believe my life can do this i believe my wife can get pregnant that's wonderful but do you believe in god there is no guarantee in scripture that if you believe those things they will happen he that believeth on me john 12 14 please give it to us we'll find somewhere and pray now john 12 14 john 12 14 the son of the living god himself speaking john 12 14 john 14 12 john 14 12 john 14 12 thank you read it please everyone one two read stop it is important who you believe not just that you believe who you believe jesus never said if you believe on things you believe that things that will happen they will happen he says verily verily i say unto you he that believe on what on me i want your faith to be directed to me not my works not my works i believe all things are possible but the reason why i believe all things are possible is because of him that can make them possible the end of your faith should be tied to a person and his integrity not the things he can do restful confidence he that believeth on me the works that i do shall he do also and what greater works than this shall he do because i go unto my father do you believe in him do you believe he exists sister listen to me you it's impossible to believe that fibroid will leave you until you believe in who the healer is are you getting what i'm saying man of god i believe my ministry will be great you are joking you are just playing games but i know whom i have believed and so i am persuaded in his ability that he is able the first thing is to believe the person then i am persuaded we leave the person and we believe in the ability and the things that will happen and we never get results he said i see this happen all the time innocent people 
not taking out time do you know this is why intimacy is important with god intimacy does not help you believe things intimacy gives you an encounter an encounter furnishes the reality of god in you so that whatever he says is as good as him so you can believe jesus son of god i believe in you i believe in you we call you a messiah jesus son of god i believe from your heart yeah. Jesus Son of God I believe in you I believe in you so when I lock up myself I carry my Bible I set an atmosphere that brings an in presence of God and when I lie down and open my Bible number one I am not reading for preaching MOG I'm not reading for preaching I'm not reading for recitation John chapter 1 verse 5 in this and that and that and, and with no 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 I'm looking at it Jesus said if you believe in me and I sit down there Holy Ghost help me believe this truth Jesus said his presence is there Jesus said and in my mind I'm looking at people gathered for miracle service they don't know me maybe they are discussing among themselves where is the man and the man is there walking on his faith Lord I know you are able I don't know what I'm going to see here but I believe in you there is no assurance anywhere physically but I believe in you and when I step and come right here and sit down the moment the worship team finishes do you know what I tell the Holy Spirit every time I say let's go it's time to go and do this as I climb this stage I'm an ordinary man but not alone he's standing by my side and so I can speak and make every audacious statement. And because of what is coming, listen, let me tell you, I believe in Jesus. I really believe in him. When he tells me something, I don't doubt. You will always doubt God till you encounter him. It's not the issue of I'm trying. Now, let me tell you, watch this. The body of Christ has fabricated a formula that if not careful, it will be our carnal attempt to recite and to 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 um, replace encounters is the concept a false concept of recitation of scriptures listen what we call confession comes from the word homologio meaning speak that which has been said i believe that there is a step to that but let me tell you what many people do we think that we just get up and start speaking I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I won't hear anything. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. And you said, I said it hundred times. Listen, I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. I hope you understand. I'm just trying to correct us because we will soon get frustrated with all those things. I'm blessed, I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm talking to my mind. No, listen, your mind was designed to submit. Your mind is not that rebellious. It was designed to submit. You have not created the condition for it to submit. The Bible says, casting down every yetzah, every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. Your mind can submit. The mistake that we make is that we don't take our time to meditate. Lord, this shall not happen. In the name of Jesus, it can't happen. But it's happening. It can't happen. In the name of Jesus, it can't happen. It can't happen. Me, God forbid, I must carry my child. I'm carrying my miracle baby. Now, that is good. I don't have a problem with that confession. But what is the revelation behind it? What is the revelation that sponsors that thing? What you are speaking is not the word of God. What you are speaking is emotion. What you are speaking is fear. I can guarantee you most of what we do is a reaction to fear. It's just a spiritual reaction to fear or a spiritualized reaction to fear. Because, listen, if you are speaking right now and they tell you your registration date is closing now for whatever, maybe a job, you need 100,000. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I call forth helpers. They are coming. Hey, they are coming. Oh, oh, God. They are coming. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. 
let me show you that it's not just faith it's fear they were praying for the apostles to be released from prison in the book of acts they were praying and asking that god will send angels god now sent the angels peter came out and they opened the door saw peter shot him back and kept praying that's what many of us do are we together no i can't find my wallet i'm a tighter what is this i'm a tighter i dropped my tight in koinonia oh god i'm a, I'm a tighter at least it's better than nothing but i'm teaching you restful confidence say restful confidence if you are to be honest you will know it's fear i notice the loudest prayer in koinonia is against the spirit of death and the calling of destiny helpers i have noticed it personally that every time i say everybody stand up and you know sometimes you can lead it seriously be serious i mean when we say go is like an arrow all kinds of where are your destiny helpers ah, where are they Praise the Lord. Can you get to a point where when you speak, you speak based on conviction? When you say, I shall not die, you are not helping yourself believe. An encounter has furnished a reality in your life and it's on the strength of that reality you say, I shall not die. How many of you prayed to sit down on your chair? How many? How many of you prayed to sit down? Okay, you need, okay. Praise the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? How many of you? When you came through perception and understanding, you knew that there are laws that were created by God to keep this chair. Who among you is sitting down now and say, Oh Lord, I really believe you. Ah, no, this chair, you can't disgrace me now. Now, does that mean you are not a believer for keeping quiet? That's how restful your life should be. You can sit down inside fire and you only talk when necessary. Because there is something you know. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please, I, I want you to believe what I'm teaching you. Otherwise, this series is a waste. I'm taking out time to pound on this because I want you to believe God. You step in and somebody looks at you and says, I'm your grandmother. Go and ask about the people I have killed. I vow that you will not see December this year. It's a vow. I vow that you will not see December this year. You now go back lord is this how i'm going to go what did i do who did i offend let me tell you what most believers will say god forbid then later they will sleep and say kai hi now let me tell you that woman herself is even afraid of you she's but because she gave an attitude and said i dare you she left you with an attitude you too you claim to have the attitude but there was no restful confidence. After a while, you say, Apostle, um, I don't know, don't mind, I don't be, it's not me, but I'm just telling you so that you will pray for me. It's still fear. It's still fear. The same way an intelligent student writes an exam, he knows what he wrote, and they'll just look and say, do you know only four people passed? The student may just feel an inkling of fear, but the student knows that even if it's one student that passed, I am the one. Now, he's not boasting out of nothing. He knows what he read. He understood it. He cross-checked the question after the exam and he was absolutely satisfied. It's called restful confidence. The other person who does not really know what he did is now hoping. That's why when he sees, ah, finally, 
have you seen the best student lord i'm grateful i give you all the praise but i expected it this is how your life must be that you know god sister you are 34 you are not going to marry and all of a sudden you start going and say talk mountain to mountain valley to valley everywhere you start running all around and you just fidget there are many of us the moment somebody speaks to you someone just holds your hand and says for sinner i had a vision in that vision i saw cats eating you up for sinner does not sleep for one week are you getting what i'm saying now i will tell you what the problem is the problem is not the vision the problem is not whether it's true or false the problem is you if I look at you now and say, for sinner, you're a man. Will you pray about it? I'll tell you why. It's not just because God told you you're a man. There are too many things that have happened in your life to convince you beyond imagination. You don't just believe you're a woman. You don't just trust you're a woman. You know you're a woman. Notice the progression. I'm believing God. I trust God. I know my God. I know him. I know him God it doesn't look like him I know him when can you say you know him that's what Moses knew he knew his ways though he slay me yet will I praise him because I know him I know him I'm trusting God to get to a point in my life where I don't just jack up my faith trying to believe God 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 oh Lord I believe in you oh Lord I... no, no 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 at that point you will move mountains you will join these elders brothers and sisters mountains will stand before you people will even pity you their eyes because they think you are dead at the end of it they will not see the mountain again and they'll see you shaking yourself that's how great people live in this life this ministry you have seen is here by faith by faith by faith by faith i've come to a point where i'm not trying to believe god i really trust him faith is based on the speaking of god trust is based on your experience with god you have had an experience with god there is a track record of his credibility so you can trust yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death he says i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me he says thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies we need to begin to walk by faith there are too many things in our lives that attempt to challenge our trust in God. But you must get to a point where you say, from today, I walk by faith. And the first encounter is to make the word of God real in your life. Look at me. The greatest investment you can make in your life is not having an education. The greatest investment you can make in your life is not just having good friends. The greatest investment you can make in your life is to make your life saturated with the word of God. Where you take the word of God as a project, you have given yourself a basis for true faith. Because there are mountains to cross. I like that Don Wen song. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever holy is the lord holy is the lord. let's take that part again though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. Listen, Koinonia, I speak to you. You are not the first to go through challenges. There are men on earth who have crossed this river. They have crossed the river of barrenness. They turn barrenness to triplets. Are we together? There are men who turn being a pauper, not affording 10 naira 
to giving billions to nations there are men of god who turn two members to nations you are not the first there are those who overrode the mockery of men it's time for you to leave the level you are in this life of pity oh god won't you show up for me no sir he will show up when you are ready though we are few you're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song that we'll be singing forever oh Listen, so God puts his word upon your life. Femi, you will be great. He will never do any other thing until you do something with the word. You can sit there forever and die a failure. It does not mean he lied. The word of God does not act on itself. By the time you look at your life, my father is not doing well. My mother is not doing well. I came from a village. Please listen. I am one of 17 children. I am even the second to the last born. I am 35 years old. I've not done anything meaningful. You look at all of this. And God says, if you believe me, God never gave men instructions until he revealed himself to them. The first assignment was to reveal himself to Abraham, revealed himself to Moses. Then he now sent them. They, every time they wanted to disobey, they remembered him. They remembered him. The same way somebody wants to tell you, look, there's one, there's somebody that I saw in WhatsApp. I spoke with him and he said he's looking for a wife. And the way you have been desperately looking for a husband or a wife, I think I can do a range for you. And he said, no problem. God works in many ways. I believe, but that is not faith. It's unbelief. Are we together? listen make up your mind today that you will never take any action in unbelief until you stay and believe god this is why people who rush through things in life suffer they rush to start business they rush to marry they rush to enter a relationship they rush to do this do you know why when challenges push you you will not just look at what you are looking at you have to look at god you have to go back and say lord i know you all you spoke you said koinonia will rise you said you will give us a voice i believe you many graduates are holding their certificates roaming around the streets in nigeria angry the same people can bring notes for you when they were in 200 level they said god told me i will be great fast forward many years they are now holding they were never believing in god they were believing in that certificate they were just hoping that god was the certificate now that they've held the certificate they are moving around and you are asking them where were your visions where were your dreams you said god gave you courage god told you you will never fail brothers and sisters what has god told you leave what he has told you and focus on him the one who spoke i'm reintroducing to you today a god who is dependable i'm reintroducing to you today a god who had parted the sea this bible is a chronicle of his ability a chronicle of his integrity so that you will believe him away with all those talk we have mocked god we have cursed god because of our challenges i know there are challenges I never said there would not be. That's why I read you Hebrews 11. But I want to see your reaction. Show me your reaction under fire. And I show you whether you know God or not. Show me your reaction when things are not happening. And I can tell you whether you know God. Though he slay me. Will I be honest if I say I do not know him? I know him. I know him. He is dependable. If I die today without a miracle, I still know him. That's what made the people in Hebrews 11. They knew him so much, they rejected deliverance. Listen, listen. Imagine, for instance, that God gives you two options in life. Just imagine. 
and God says you will go through a season with me for six years and you will become so mighty or you will go through a season for one year you will start moving fast but you will not become as mighty as six years let me tell you what many of us will choose a bed in hand is what 20 in the bush oh God thank you for giving me this one year I can I can pay the price but there are those who know God and say Lord even if it's 10 years let's go because one step in faith will give you 20 years worth of miracle one step in faith one step in faith have you not seen how God wiped the tears of people and changed the lives of people overnight men who trusted God koinonia I'm introducing to you a God you need to know before you start claiming to believe his word you must have an encounter with this God you must create the atmosphere for his word to be real in your life let it not just be talk 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 cheap talk talk no sir anything God cannot give me no man would claim to say he can give me anything God cannot give me that's why I can look at any man and say thank you for your open door but go with it God did not open that door and I will not go back to sleep and regret I believe God brothers and sisters look at me I have gone through mountains and valleys in my life make no mistakes about it don't you think I'm just talking to you from a standpoint of comfort I have gone through things that very few people can go through and survive I know that God is mighty by and large in life everything you trust will fail you and a time will come you will no longer hold on to things but a person pastors have called me man of god i've listened to your messages but nothing is working in my ministry and the first question i ask them is are you sure you are called and they say yes i said if you believe you are called did you hear what god told you they say yes i say stay there stay at the last instruction he gave you and die there there's a song that says i will be a good soldier he says i will die at my post if he does not shift a post let me die there i will survive the mockery i will survive the ridicule i don't have to be under pressure to explain things to people no it's not like this actually it's, it's, it's god that told no. you will never believe him until you encounter him you will never believe him until you encounter him you will never believe him until you encounter him koinonia please hear me faith the foundation of faith is an encounter with god an experience that furnishes the reality of him there are real mountains you will face you will face all kinds of mountains even the most trusted people in your life cannot take his place a time will come you will have to stand alone and say lord jesus i trust you i trust you though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever Holy The Lord is the Lord. Though we are few, though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. This is the song we'll be singing forever. I want you to fall in love with your Bible tonight. Listen, please. Listen. Listen. Please listen to me. 
I know you have books in your library. Listen to me, please. I know you have books in your library. I know you have DVDs. I know you have CDs. But I bring you to a point tonight where you eat this word till something leaves it and enters your spirit. I have in my phone a compendium of the words of Jesus. Only the words of Jesus spoken. Only everything Jesus ever said in the Bible. Only it. I listen to it every time. I love the words of Jesus. I listen to it. Sometimes I let it run for hours as I sleep. And I have encounters. I wake up under certain intense dimensions. I know something happened. I don't need to know what happened. I know something happened. Are we together? I know that something happened to me. An encounter. I'm a very busy person. Just returned from a trip today. Tomorrow we're off for another one. You know, Eddie was driving me. We're coming from the bank and he asked me a question. He said, Apostle, do you ever rest? I may live a busy life, but not too busy for this. This is the most accurate picture, compendium of the dealings of God with men. I don't read, I read my Bible emotionally. I don't read my Bible intellectually. When I look at it, I see myself. If it be thou, bid me come. I, I, I replace Peter and I stand there. I look at all the challenges that are before me. There's a peace in my heart in spite of all the darkness that surrounds me and this peace that I know only comes alive every time I hear your voice there's a light in my soul in spite of all the darkness that surrounds me and this light in my soul only comes alive every time i hear your voice listen brothers and sisters i want you to hear me if you do not come to a point of restful confidence through the word you will shake like a leaf at life at a point in time you will feel like dying that's what makes people commit suicide they get to a point in their lives where they move left there is no way out they move right they are pressed to the core and they think the only way is to drink to smoke or get a gun and blow themselves this word can minister the life of God to you this is ordinary scripture but the moment you begin to read it believing that out of it will come the word of God I assure you you will see miracles in your life and ministry sister I'm prophesying to you it's not over I don't know who said it's over but you take this Bible and recreate your future you have been predicting it by wishful thinking now create it through the power of the word you have been predicting it just by hoping hope is important it make it not a shame but let me tell you the truth if you must walk in any reality in your life you are going to have to create it i believe the word of god i know whom i have believed i have not followed cunningly devised fables i believe him it's time for every word that proceeds from your mouth to be a communication of faith don't speak until you believe we having the same spirit of faith it's called the operation of faith we having the same spirit operation of faith as it is written i have believed and so i spoke i did not speak to believe i spoke because i have believed you don't speak to believe you have an encounter to believe then you speak because you have believed this is bible faith time will fill me of jephthah and barak men who through faith koinonia please listen they built houses by faith some of us have come where god has brought us today it is by grace 
through faith by grace through faith by grace but through faith it is not just by grace through wishing by grace through crossing your legs and hoping that because it's by grace it will happen you will never see any result there are two prayer points we are going to pray now and we are done for this night next week I don't want you to miss it I'm going to be teaching you the dynamics of faith how faith really works we are going to look at this thing in depth how do I translate desires to manifestations rise up on your feet we will rise in your name Adonai, you reign on high. We will rise in your name. Adonai, you reign on high. And I will rise in your name. let your first prayer point tonight be a prayer of thanksgiving lord thank you for showing me what i've been missing lift your voice and pray lord thank you for showing me tonight that faith is not just wishful thinking faith is not just mental asset faith is not just memory of scripture although that is important faith is not just bible study for a historical advantage Lord, I thank you. Shabrata rato sobrekete. Ela kaparata kato shodo brekete balada 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 bal. Hallelujah. Shaka bakata, shaka takata, shaka tete. I tell you, no spirit will stand the power of God tonight. No. You must let them go in the name of the Lord Jesus I come against you I come against you I come against you delay is a dangerous thing it traps your life so that when you ought to move and make significant progress it will hold you bound. There are many lives and destinies that are tied down. Families. Please lift your hands. The Lord is telling me that he wants to visit the root of witchcraft in families pay attention to what i'm saying because the power of god will move in a mighty way there are families here hear me you love god but you do not know what is at the root of the tragedies of the families there are spirits there are covenants there are fraternities with darkness that have kept families bound it may not even be your fault you are inheriting the wickedness of men but tonight lift your hands i want to pray for you 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 as i speak over your life again the lord is going to be ministering to families it may not have anything to do with you as a person some of you you will step into visions immediately and begin to see a lot of destruction and havoc going on father in the name of jesus i'm praying right now inside the first overflow the second overflow across the road every family that is under the influence of any satanic manipulation Lord, you will not only identify them, they must be free. At the count of three, 
I want you to shout, I am free. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Altars, 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 altars. I call you by your name and I curse you by the God of heaven. I call you by your name. Altars in Benue State, altars in Kogi State. Altars in Kaduna State, altars in the West, altars in the East. My goodness, Shekete Koto Kete, Rekete Tekete, Rekete Kota. Every local government, every state, I set fire on those altars. Fire, fire, fire fire on those altars fire on those altars every covenant with the waters every covenant with the air every covenant with the earth every covenant of darkness tying families i declare that this is your time of jubilee I send the word of judgment I send the word of judgment hallelujah I wish the Lord can open your eyes to see the mighty things that are happening mighty things that are happening hallelujah listen something very strange will start happening here now listen listen to me because I just saw a vision like a bunch of keys it just dropped on the ground listen this this is a sign of access in the spirit the lord showed me a vision and i saw in the spirit a bunch of keys now it's not for everybody but i'm about to pray once it comes on you except god did not call me you will see doors open it's called breakthrough lift your head i stand under this apostolic anointing and in the name of jesus Every destiny that needs this breakthrough at the count of three, receive it, receive it. Take it now. 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 I distribute those keys in the spirit. I distribute those keys inside and outside in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of the eternal covenant, breakthroughs, 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 the opening up of destinies, the opening up of destinies. The opening up of destinies. listen those of you outside i want you to hear me because the holy spirit is going to do something now the lord asked me to come out hallelujah hallelujah now i want count three my goodness there is such anointing in this place and i see the angels the lord the moment you count three i'm going to start moving across this crowd and the power of god will start falling on people whatever has locked your destiny it must open it right now are you ready now those outside please believe we are not playing games father in the name of jesus may the angels move in this crowd in the name of jesus 
at the count of three shout at one two three receive it right now right now right now right now right now i stretch my hands as i move across let an anointing come as i pass your role as i pass your role you will stand it as i pass your role an anointing an anointing take it 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 now i stretch my hands take it take it this side receive it take it now 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 i stretch my hands take it now take it now everyone in this row receive it right now receive it right now take it now all those here there is an angel of the lord standing on your row take it now take it now take it now take it now just allow me pass your row as i'm coming there are angels walking with me as i'm coming the power of god will touch you right now i stretch my hands here everyone here right now take it now take it right now take it right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands to you call this man come this big man come what's your name come now let's hurry up what's your name the lord is saying what's your name daniel daniel from where from edo state sir. from edo state i mean are you in zaria you are in Zaria. I want you to rejoice because you have entered a new level this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? As you celebrate them, you connect to their prophecy. Listen, because I'm seeing you in a cage. This is what I see. I've not started prophesying yet, but I'm seeing you in a cage and I'm seeing you telling the Lord, I know that if I come here, my situation will change in the name that is above all names. I lay my hands upon you and I end that captivity right now. Take it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is grace? There's someone grace around here. Who is grace? I'm hearing that the Lord is showing me someone grace. Who is grace? Please come quickly. Let's save time. Come. Where is your mother? Zango. Zango. Is she sick? My sister is sick. Don't worry. Is your mother sick? She doesn't even know she's sick. But she's sick. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going to your house and healing two people. Your mother and your sister. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your mother and your sister. What do you do? You're a student. What do you do? Huh? Job applicant. Job applicant. Do you believe that if I pray for you, the Lord will give you a job? Will you come and testify before God's people? I lay my hands upon you and I release that job for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From this road down like this, there are a number of ladies with abdominal pain. Because I'm seeing like the angel of the Lord is doing something. I stretch my hands right now. Whoever they are, the power of God is coming upon them right now. Right now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that pain... That abdominal pain must go. It must go right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me try to walk to the first overflow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. You will start experiencing the power of God in your life. In a very strange way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I lay my hands upon you right now. Step into a new season. I want to pray for this overflow. There are so many people. Please believe God. Don't think I've come outside because I want to identify with you. So you don't think you are at a disadvantage. No. Distance is no barrier. Some of you are enduring cold. It's touching my heart. Talk more of the heart of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And some of you need to watch because what you are seeing me do is what you will be doing in some years to come. So just watch it. You are just receiving miracles. There is an impartation. Joseph. Who is Joseph? Here. Yeah. Joseph. I'm hearing a name Joseph. You are wearing like a collar, like for cold. Who is that? You are Joseph. The Lord is going to do mighty things through you. Stand up, there's cold, so you don't enjoy yourself. Are you hearing me? I want to stay true with God. 
and watch God do great things in your life in the name of Jesus I'm seeing two old women they are sitting on the same seat where are they here this row two mama like this where are they is there some who is that the Lord is asking me to talk to them just leave them mama do I know you have we seen before I'm looking at you can, can they if they cannot hear we can speak any language can I talk to you mama I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the spirit of death over your head when I, don't be afraid I'm seeing the spirit of death over your head and the Lord is saying if we don't pray for you that's how you'll be getting up and a bike will collide with a car it's like a station wagon and it will kill you for nothing but the Lord is saying I should pray for you the second thing is there's no finances at all everything flat is that true is that true in your life is what why you came where is your daughter do you have a daughter ah huh? i'm seeing a lady close to you like a, a i don't know if she's a, a daughter or logical or not because i'm seeing the lord is saying that he wants to bless her with marriage you are the one okay you are the one standing close to her are you ready to marry because god is going to surprise you do you believe that huh say i receive i receive i receive you are not you are you are trying to be a lady but my dear prophecy you see a madman like this i'm only responding to god just out and see what the anointing does shout i receive as loud as i receive jesus christ i break that curse over your head mama you will not die all of you here stretch your hands to her and say mama will not die take us your mother pray for her mama will not die in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah i'm looking at this other mama i don't know what's wrong with this woman but there are three things i see the devil want to do number one eyes ah huh? but two i'm seeing her inside a coffin they have already closed it and there's blood on top of the coffin are you hearing what i'm saying? somebody use her eyes to make money with it this is what the lord is showing me i'm not a prophet of doom me don't like what i'm saying but i cannot but say what god is asking me to say are you here i'm seeing I'm seeing a lady here I'm, I'm still going to come in please we're trying to work with the time um but i'm seeing a lady here how you know is the power of god is about to come upon you right now one of the ladies here this is witchcraft that has destroyed the life of your family and the lord wants me to minister to you in this other overflow father wherever she is right now locate her the power of god is going to come on one lady right now it will be like fire you can't stand it it will come upon you please when that happens let me know that lady right now not just those inside i know god is but this role this role father wherever that lady is i'm declaring right now by the anointing of the spirit of god that she will be located so that her can be free in the name of jesus christ um your name means joy it's a tribal name but it has joy it's like it who is that person please your name means joy that's if you translate your name it has something to do with joy joy or joyful or something like that do we have someone like that please make sure you are telling the truth so that it doesn't look like we're acting if, if you are that couple with the protocol who is that what's that come what's your name what I means what child of joy i want to pray for you where is your mother? she's in kaduna is this working okay tell your mother her time lay hands on you and i want that if you go back and see your mom just ask her to allow you to break through my hands upon you right now i don't mean their english names are joy what's what's your name from where
Where is your family? Kaduna, I'm going to pray for you. Because that has tied your family down. I look at me, look at me. Does it make sense to you? The Lord is dead because I'm seeing your family tied down in witchcraft. And God is saying that He's lifting them up by His grace. Father, let it end right now. Out of this family, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands on all of you. I lay my hands on all of you. I lay my hands upon you. Help her, please. Help her so that she can Who is that? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. For you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please hold on. There is a lady wearing white scarf. She's on at the wall. She's leaning on the wall. Where is that lady? Please bring her. I'm seeing in a vision. There's a lady wearing white scarf. White scarf. Is there someone like that? You are leaning on the fence. White scarf. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Give God a praise. Who is that? What's your name? But there's nothing favorable in your life. And the Lord is saying, change her story. Do I know you? That your name is favor? I want to pray for you. Do you believe if I pray for you, the Lord will grant you favor? Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I restore favor to you right now. I restore favor to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Come, my dear. This lady, yes, come. Hallelujah. There is an anointing. Listen. There is an anointing. Um, I promise those of you outside, by the grace of God, hopefully by next miracle service, we'll try to work on amplifying the sound so that it will, it will be very clear for you outside. All right? I know that the people did their best, but you can see that the crowds are increasing. Praise the Lord. But there was an anointing that was upon Esther. It's called the favor anointing. In the course of the meeting, I'm going to be praying for people. But the Lord is saying, I should minister this to you. Do you believe it? Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon this lady and I release this grace upon her. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing upon her. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing upon her. In the name of Jesus, who came from Kano? I'm seeing Kano. Come. You are not alone. You are with one lady. Where are you? Huh? Two of you. Husband and wife. Come. Did you tell me you are coming? Come. She's your friend. Who is she? How are you, my dear? You came from Kano. What do you do? I'm sick. No, you are not just a student. There's something else you are doing. I'm teaching. You are teaching. How about her? witchcraft is what God is breaking now in the name of Jesus Christ because I'm seeing something like a chain leaving your friend I command that chain to leave right now in the name of Jesus Christ I lay my hands upon you and I, I command that chain to go in the name of Jesus Christ and for you I declare you will step into a new dimension of intimacy with God that's what you need you have been praying even fast and help him you fasted that God will give you an anointing it's not an anointing for ministry, it's an anointing for fellowship with God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of 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 Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. What has happened to your music ministry? That's what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. Huh? Do you sing? Sing something, let's hear. My God is awesome. He will move the whole world. What has happened to your music ministry? God gave you an anointing, you have been playing games with it. Come. Because God wants to restore that fire. As soon as I pass you, I saw, I saw, I heard like music and God says restore his music ministry. There are three things that can destroy a man's ministry, any ministry. One, pride. Huh? 
two women or men or anything just human beings are you hearing what i'm saying and then number three is premature exposure when people don't stay with the spirit to create a track record but i'm going to pray for you huh you, your characters you, you must you must behave well behave like where you are going are you hearing what i'm saying this is you you need a lot of restoration in your life it's not because anything is wrong you, it's just that you need to step up otherwise you will not experience the grace of god but there is an anointing upon your music ministry and i lay my hands upon you right now you step into that level in the name of jesus christ all of you here please lift your hands i want to pray for you please lift your hands and believe as i pray for you and i count three i want you to shout the name jesus there are people here under yokes and spells as soon as you shout that name jesus the anointing of the spirit will move through this very overflow this very overflow i wanted to leave but god is still speaking to me about this overflow please i want you to believe help them so they don't fall inside the gutter father i'm doing as you have instructed me and i prophesy right now that as they all shout the name of jesus let the power of god visit the foundations of every family represented here are you ready now at the count of three one two three right now in the name of jesus right now help them right now in the name of jesus i cause that spirit 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 from your life and your destiny there is a, a man that appears to one lady here as i pray for you now fire is coming upon you you will never see that man again not in your dreams i command him go 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 in the name of jesus christ i bring you deliverance by the power of the holy spirit it never comes to you again never 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 in the name of jesus greater strength greater prayer fire greater prayer fire greater prayer fire in the name of jesus the lady with the black heart tap that lady for me look at me stretch your hands where you are an anointing is coming upon you right now beauty for ashes says the spirit beauty for ashes i release that anointing upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ before i leave this place there are seven people the spirit of prayer is coming upon you right now seven people lord where are they right now right now across this place seven people it's like fire to come upon you some are men some are women take it take it take it right now take it right now the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer 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 the spirit of prayer like never before tap this lady for me the lord is visiting you and he's wiping your tears in the name of jesus the lord is saying he's wiping your tears by the power of the holy spirit the lord is wiping your tears in the name of jesus christ the lord is wiping your tears let it end right now let it end now now never to return to you again never to return i stretch my hands all over this room right now right now right now right now every force of darkness never returns in the name of jesus there is a spirit i'm dealing with i know what i'm seeing right now right now i judge you by the god of heaven right now let them go let them go let them go now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the hands of certain people tied here like a chain holding your hands those of you here just lift your hands don't worry once it constants you you cannot stand it father visit them right now you will feel like literally fire on your hands the chain is breaking right now i stretch my hands let it break 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 now 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 let it break i break it by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost now i break that chain in the name of jesus i break that chain in the name of jesus 
I break that chain in the name of Jesus. I restore your glory. I restore your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, please pray and ask the Lord to visit you. Pray and ask the Lord to visit you. Aha. Aha, you must go. In the name of Jesus, you must go. Go, go, go. Any spirit represented here, you must leave right now. I tell you, any force of darkness tying down your life. Who is this, Mama? Hold on, please. Hold on. Who is this, Mama? My brother. What's wrong with your marriage? This person I'm seeing was supposed to die October 21st. It's because of prayer. Because you used to carry this picture everywhere you go. I'm seeing you in a meeting. Stand up, madam. I'm seeing you in a meeting. No, 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 please. This is help her with a handkerchief. This is a mother. You don't have to cry, please. This woman you are seeing is a very good woman. I'm seeing you in all kinds of meetings. You are not even concerned about your own problem. You are lifting up this person because I'm seeing 21st October. He was to be to die and please, Mama, it's okay. It's okay. The Lord will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you too, you have problems. But you are not even concerned about your problem. You are not concerned about what is happening to your finances. You are not concerned about the pain in your back. You keep feeling pain in your back when you wait. As I enter here. I hear my pain go, just go away. The pain just went away when she came here. Look at this. Even before the meeting. From Kaduna, me and my... Hold on. Okay. I'm all away from Kaduna. We, my children sleep with your, with your scriptures. We work with your scriptures. Even if I will go and pass you in, the scriptures is on. The two of them are pastors. One is here. The other one is here. I finish university here and this prayer I'm a widow. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I have a ministry. <laughs> you have a ministry. My goodness. Can you imagine? I'm looking at you. What is I'm seeing your ministry has something to do with spring. The spring. The spring. In the name that is above all names. Mama, listen. Please don't cry. The Lord is visiting you. Because this woman you see is an intercessor this woman can stay for hours praying for people who are not even her, it's none of her business as the holy spirit ministers to her you see but nothing is changing in your own life you pray for people and god will do miracles it's true. is that true the lord says i should tell you your whole life would you Amen. hallelujah please come follow me mama the lord is wiping are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is wiping your tears. Who is this? Huh? Ah, mommy, this is not your son. Hold on. This boy is not your... You are calling him son, but he's not your son. Because I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing a father. Where's your father? He's dead, sir. Father is dead. And this is what the Lord... I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing father. It's like... The father is related to you. He's my elder. Brother. And so you took him as your son. That's why you are calling him son. But this boy is not your son. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord is going to use you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to use you mightily. Huh? Mommy, you, God is wiping your tears because this finance, the thing can't just enter your hand. It will enter and go out. And we have to pray. Because the people that killed his father want to destroy you. And we have to pray. I'm not, I don't want you to feel bad. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He's gone and, but we are not just going to allow it happen until they come and kill mama. And it's because of the destiny of this person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to visit you in a way that will surprise you. What's wrong with him? You see, Ba. What the Lord is showing me, I'm not going to say everything here, but what the Lord is showing me, today, they will see that he has one sickness. 
they will do another test huh? they will do a scan and come out with something else the devil is just playing using medicine to play with your mind this is witchcraft they have already buried this person and this issue has finished but in the name of the lord jesus christ i'm declaring and i'm speaking to everyone here i stand under the anointing and i pray for you that every power that is tying down your family it must leave you this night in the name of jesus it must leave you this night it must go 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 the same thing it must go in the mighty name of jesus christ please come madam the lord is saying i shall anoint you come you are going to do great things for god god is going to use you greatly i know you may not think you are like that but god will use you from today i open your eyes to the realm of the spirit you will step into unusual dimensions of grace i activate dimensions in your spirit elisha prayed and the eyes of the servant was open i open your eyes to visionary encounters in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands towards our mother here this woman's situation has really touched me come mama no 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 mommy please stand up stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother all the way from kaduna a woman with a ministry interceding for others this is our brother the devil wants to terminate the life of this person i like us to pray over this picture and say in the name of jesus the same power that raised christ from the dead the same power that raised christ from the dead hallelujah mommy will you believe if i tell you you are stepping into an unusual healing ministry from tonight listen you believe with all your heart have you forgotten the dream god showed you where you saw yourself in a meeting praying for people i believe i saw it so i remember did you tell me is now is the time for that dream to come to pass because you had a dream you saw yourself praying for people i'm just praying healing them and you are healing them and you have been interceding innocently the lord is telling me that now is the time for your ministry to step into another level two areas the issue of barrenness the issue of barrenness it will be like a special anointing to destroy barrenness are you hearing what i'm saying you will come back and testify before the people of god this thing is being recorded and the second area the second area is hiv such an anointing will come upon you as you pray for people with hiv listen paul said i desire to see you he said that i may impart some spiritual gift it doesn't matter the age impartation can happen are you hearing what i'm saying madam hold my hands i want you to shout jesus and watch what begins to happen to you go ahead jesus. father i pray from today an anointing an anointing a transference of grace an ordinary woman will become a woman of power from today an ordinary woman will carry an anointing of the spirit in a strange way in a strange way go and heal the sick 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 in the name of Jesus Christ come madam look at me come watch this mommy lay your hand on him and pray for him just do what I'm asking you to do lay your hands and speak to him look at me you carry this anointing and you will wreck havoc in the kingdom of darkness anointing is not for show brothers and sisters but i tell you it will scare you this anointing will bring wealth to you people will sow into your life because of the impact in her life come on go when you go back lay this picture on your brother and pray for him god will take him out of that hospital and when he does bring him here 
and you will come and testify to the glory of God. The Lord told me he's wiping your tears. Come, sir. What do you do? What do you do? What did you study? I'm going to pray for you. You want to further? Yes, sir. That's what yes, sir. Political science. Sir. Because God is going to use you in the area of leadership. It was in, in prayer God put in your spirit to study political science. Amen. Although what you studied, um, I'm not seeing a university like a college or something. Federal College of Education. You study something that has to do with education. Business education. Business education. But then it's leadership. And God is taking you to that position. When you study it, he will make you a great leader. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Wait, Mr. Man. Just wait. Let me finish. I'm praying for you. Make sure when God blesses you, you never forget this woman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You never forget this woman. She has done what for you many people will not do. She has taken you as a son. She has spent her money to the last to help you. Is that true? If you forget this woman, God will not be happy with you. Let me use this as an encouragement. You see, when somebody suffers to help you and you rise, you will be a wicked person to forget that person. Some of us are like this. Some of our parents have labored to help us. Don't say, I must be a millionaire before I bless them. The day God gives you 20,000, you can take 1,000 and say, Mama, take. Some of us are very greedy. God is blessing you, but you are still latching onto the little resources of the parents. It must change. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, take him to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I impart upon you wisdom and leadership. Occupy that mountain. Fire is coming upon your hands. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Father, visit our mother. For what you have done, Mama, my God will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you from the depth of my heart. My God will visit you. In the name of Jesus. Please bring this woman for me. This one wearing this very one. Yes. This, she's, she's not feeling fine. Something is wrong with her. Please let her come. Is God blessing you tonight? Who brought her? Please, who brought her? If you brought her, please come with her so that we we'll know what to do. There's no mic. What's wrong with her, Mama? Diabetes. Diabetes. How old is she? Do you know? Oh, you just met her? Or you know her? Okay, it's your junior sister. From where? Can she hear me? Or do you need somebody to talk to her in the language? You need translation. If I talk to you, can you talk to her in the language? Tell her that Jesus Christ is going to heal her of diabetes. What tribe are you, madam? Eh? He got her pastor Alpha now. Carry mic. What are you here? Oh, yeah, yeah, carry mic. Because I'm trying to, let's make this easy. Give him mic, please. Every tribe here, there must be somebody. If there's nobody who will lay hands on somebody for the purpose, there's no other mic. Okay, don't worry. Come, Pastor. Tell her that Jesus Christ is going to visit her. Jesus, ask your guy by a door. Ask her question. She can't know. Tell her, God, heal her of diabetes. Or draw the dog at the empty square, mother. And the dream of death that she has been having. Or now, who can nally? And God is going to heal her. Or draw not the only way. How does that she know something? A quick bow guy for the way. There, John. Does she know what's going on? A chimney, get a chimney. Diabetes. Diabetes. What couldn't she do? Then when man get she could do. Then get she call on. Mama, ask. Tell her I'm going to pray for her, and the power of God will come. Yana chadwe, bayo jo awoji, papa. Um, me and her will run here now. Onku yana rule me, papa. 
I'm going to pray for her and we will not walk, we will run together. Tell her not to worry. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. It's okay. If we do Jesus, if we do Jesus, I rebuke who dot down diabetes. Diabetes. In the name of Jesus. If we do Jesus. Look at what is happening to her. It's a spirit. Look at. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit. You call it sickness. Look at what is up. This is an old woman. Huh? Diabetes is a spirit. I command it to live now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Mama. Tell her. Tell her. That. She's going to do what she has never done. And she should not be afraid. Stop. Walk. Come. 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 Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, come on. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hold on. Sam, give us one powerful Igala song. Where is Sam? You sang one song during Annie's wedding. Eh? Sing that song. Tell Mama she's going to dance now. Eh? And the Igala people will join her and dance to the shame of the devil. Hosanna, oh, oh my David, oh Chonuka Wama, Hosanna, oh, Hosanna, oh, oh my David, oh Chonuka Wama, Hosanna, oh, Hosanna, oh, oh my David, oh Chonuka Wama, Hosanna, oh Hosanna, oh, oh my David, oh Chonuka Wama, Hosanna, oh Hosanna, oh, oh my David, oh Chonuka Wama, Hosanna. This miracle remains permanent forever. How many? How many of you saw the way that woman was standing here? You saw the way she was standing. Look how God can change a man's story. Hallelujah! Give Jesus praise. God bless you. There is a woman here that they brought. I don't know where she is. But I'm seeing it's, it's something that is a medical condition. I don't know if it's a fibroid or a growth. Please, who is that person? We really have to be fast. A growth, like a, I don't know if it's a growth that the person came with. They, they said the person has something like a growth. I don't know if it's a fibroid now. Whether it's... Eh? No, no, no. The person I'm talking about is here. Oh. It may be inside or outside. I'm seeing somebody. Um, it's like there's a medical condition that has to do with a swelling or growth or something. Who is that? Who is that person? Come. No, you're all, you are not sick. It's, it's demons. Just stand. We'll deal with that one now. Now, your eh? No, no, no. Leave him. This your stomach is swollen. They want to kill you. Somebody, somebody hit you with something in a dream some months back. You didn't even remember. Now your stomach is swelling. We'll deal with that one. I don't know you. I'm just just stand there. That one is, is an easy something. This come, the come. You have a problem. Come up. The devil, I, the devil wants to destroy this lady. Because if I don't pray for you, they will. I'm seeing your case getting so serious. They will now take you to India for a kidney transplant. What's wrong with you? Kidney nephritis. What does that mean? Inflammation. How do you know it's The doctor told 
me. I cannot lie on both sides of my head. You can't lie down here. Yes, and even yet, I sleep straight. You see the wickedness of the devil. That even to sleep, you can't sleep this way. You can't sleep. How else do you sleep? Lie down flat. That devil must leave you. What's your name? Precious. You know her? Who knows her? Before you now start talking another rubbish story. Daddy, please come, sir. Our, our daddy, yes, sir. Our daddy is praying a prayer. And the prayer has to do with, no. The Hold your photo like this, sir. Open it to the third one. That's what I want to talk to you about. One, okay. I'm seeing, okay, I thought it was the third one. Back, I'm seeing another photo. This thing is like it's supposed to be three. It's not two. Where is the third one? It's at home. That's the one I want to talk about. That's why I said take it to the third one. You brought two here. But the person I want to talk about, there is a third one. Who is in that photo? Henry. Henry. It's at home. Because we want to pray. Demons stop him from coming. Did you ask him to come? I asked him to come. He chose not to. That's what I'm saying. If that boy had come, let me tell you. Do you know? That if 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 you can come for koinonia alone, you don't want to know the powers you overcame to arrive. Tell somebody koinonia and see the way demons fight. They are coming here. Flimsy excuses. They will tell you, uh, I just think I don't have this. It's because the devil knows. He knows. That's what happened to this person. And you see, today would have been his day of visitation. I looked at this and I saw three, because I'm not, you may see me looking at you physically, but I'm operating from the spirit. I saw three pictures and I said, go to the third one. You left the third one at home, just like the person to come. If he agreed, the Holy Ghost would have reminded you and forced you to carry the third one. You see, please, brothers and sisters, when you invite people and they refuse, don't insult them. You're a spiritual man. You should know that is to you a sign that God wants them to be here. Are we together now? Daddy, I'm going to talk to you now and I'll pray with you. There's something about him, but I will not tell you in public. Huh? So that you will not hear that this person left the faith into something else. You hear what I'm saying? I don't want, it's not something where this is a public talk, but it, we don't want to hear that kind of story because it's already happening. There is a spirit that converts men. It doesn't happen by default. We must attack it in the name of Jesus Christ. Where is this, our lady? Come. We are going to pray for this kidney. Both of your kidneys is verified that you have a, a kidney problem. So we are going to pray. Lay your hands on it. Please, can we pray for this dear one? Anything that happens to one of us happens to all of us. Don't say it's not yet my issue. Uh -uh. Pray for her. Your prayer is working. There's a surgery the Lord is doing in her. Place your hand on her. I command that devil right now out out of her that spirit masquerading as kidney kidney problem in the name of Jesus Christ I command a miracle for you right now I stretch my hands I make contact by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. My goodness, there's such power flowing. I declare a miracle. I declare a miracle. I declare a miracle. Stand up. Stand up. What couldn't you do before? Press it. Press it right now.
Look, the lady, see, see, the lady is even surprised. Even her, her and her own body, she's even surprised that something is happening. Her and her own body. I pray that God will anoint you to be able to bring healing and deliverance to people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't know how cheap the devil is until you are really anointed. If you are not anointed, you will make a ceremony out of nothing. But when that anointing is not about trying to get it done. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. My dear, check it. Honestly, if there's pain, tell us. We will not be afraid. There's... God is touching another lady. Heal her, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Fire is coming on a lady's throat. I don't know what has to do. I'm about to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing throat right now. There is a lady like that. Fire is coming. Something will touch your throat. It's like a sickness. My dear, I'd like you to shout, I am healed. Shout it. I am healed. Shout it again. I am healed. Shout it one more time. Go and check yourself and you come back to testify. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. The anointing is on that lady covering her, her mouth, her nose. This lady, I don't know who she is. I'm not, yes, that very lady you are holding. There's a strong anointing on her. Strong anointing on her. In the name of Jesus Christ, strong anointing on her. We're going to be very fast because it's cold and we have to there's one of the ushers the power of god is coming on you now i know you are doing ushering work wherever you are i'm seeing an usher please bring that person right now an usher lady right now you are busy doing your work quietly but the anointing of god will land on you right now where's the usher please bring her you're an usher you are doing your work that's all right but God needs to visit you now. That you are walking, whether ushering or protocol, you mind your business. There's somebody in welfare, welfare. The power of God is coming on somebody in welfare right now. Welfare department, welfare department. I'm seeing an anointing coming on somebody in welfare department. God just does strange things. They are called signs and wonders. We really don't know why it's done. Before we continue, there's one person from protocol. That's what I see in the spirit. Protocol department. The protocol department. There's somebody that the Lord is touching right now. In protocol department, wherever you are, I really don't care where, whether inside or outside. But God is touching somebody right now. Right now in protocol department. It's like fire. It will just come on you all of a sudden it's a sign and a wonder it's a miracle please let me have those people out there's a reason why i'm calling them out that person from poshri who is that protocol department where's the person from where? Welcome, welcome. hallelujah bring three of them it's a prophetic language i want to tell you what god is saying through this the first impartation is God prophesying to men that you are entering into new seasons. So just like an usher brings you, it's a prophetic word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release it upon you. I release it upon you right now. Just like an usher takes you into a new level. I stand under this anointing and I prophesy, enter a new season. Enter a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. The impartation upon the welfare person is the mystery of supplies. The Lord is saying he's ending stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is ending stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. The person from the protocol, the Lord is saying, I will be your defender. Even in this season, I release that word upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone that came with a sick person, um, 
is already happening to Pastor Femi, but Pastor Femi and three members of Rema will come under the anointing right now. Three members who are members of Rema Chapel. That's what I'm seeing as it's happening to him. It's happening to three people. Three people who attend Rema Chapel. Three people. In the name of the Lord Jesus. It's a new season for you. New season for you. New season for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You don't have to bring them out. Just leave them where they are. Hallelujah. We have five minutes to do this. Five minutes because there is the session where I prophesy. Please make sure we are going to try to finish fast. But make sure you receive everything. Don't come and waste your time and stay. Now all those who came with sick people. Apart from those who have been healed. If you brought somebody sick. Please bring them out quickly. Quickly let's lay hands on them. Give us some question. Please quickly. The Lord is healing people. There's the healing anointing in this place right now. God is a miracle worker. God is a miracle worker. Please, quickly. No matter which of the overflows, brothers and sisters, there is multiplied grace in this house. Don't come and go back sick. You just need a touch. It's, it's just a touch. There's no need for any long story. So you don't necessarily have to be saying this. What is wrong with me if I don't ask you? Just a touch. Even if you are coming here for the first time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those of us who are out here. Jesus loves you. That's why he wants to heal you. Please. I want you to receive. You can reject it. But I want you to receive it with all your heart. As I pray for you, you go back, check yourself. Because of time, we may not have time to share testimony. But hold on, please. Let me say something about testimonies. Um, it is, you are robbing God of glory when God gives you healing and blessings. There are so many people who God has been touching, but they never return. To give thanks one of the ways you maintain your miracle is by giving thanks please come your breakthrough has come yes please madam come the lord is bringing a visitation to you right now don't put her up just keep her somewhere because the anointing is still on her and so that she doesn't keep collapsing up and down Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Ma, please look at me. God is restoring you financially, spiritually. Financially, there is an anointing on you as I speak to you. Financially, spiritually. I'm seeing God step even into your marriage. Our mother is crying. Your marriage. This is the reason why you came because there's nothing there god is stepping in to do a miracle for you to the glory of his name miracle for you who is this your mom what's wrong with her why didn't you bring her here yola yola hold the picture just hold it I will use you as a point of contact. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through the picture to you and will touch her right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your healing power touch Mama. She's in your lab, but touch her, oh God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God is also bringing speed into your life. Speed, right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Speed! I prophesy it upon you, never to be the same again. And we pray for healing for Mama. He will testify in the name of Jesus. The anointing is so strong on you. God is bringing restoration in your marriage. God is bringing restoration in your finances. God is bringing restoration in your spiritual life. I command everything the devil has stolen to give way. In the name of Jesus. There are so many people here and we are going to be very fast. Just a touch. Please, I want you to believe. If you are standing in for somebody, you can agree with them. As you go back, you can touch them. Hallelujah. 
praise the Lord. I want you to believe we'll be very fast in the name of Jesus. All over the congregation, I want you to begin to pray in tongues because immediately after this, we'll be prophesying. While you are praying in tongues, pass your prayer request. Both the one for souls and then your prayer request. Please pass it. So ushers, you can split yourself inside and outside. Someone attend to those in the overflows. Please, very quick. Thank you, Jesus. Let your power touch your people right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A glorious God. A miracle world. Right Hold on, let me attend to this gentleman. I promise that we'll look at him. Everybody look if you can look at it from your screens or wherever. You see that when you look at this guy, this is unusual. This is abnormal, right? How long has it been, my brother? Since last year. What happened to you? Uh, the, uh... I am, I'm just sick. I don't know what is happening to me. So I went to the hospital. They said I should go and do scanning. They say my spleen don't, don't big. My spleen don't big. So later on, what is that? Come now, doctor. You're already there. The spleen is an organ that reserves blood just below the ribs on the left side. I'm wondering that it's a cancer is disturbing me. Cancer. Cancer of what? So for now, now, I'm still there for this hospital, for this uh, shika. So they never told me for cancer for what was still. Who told you about this place? It's my friend. May God bless that friend forever. In the name of Jesus. My brother, look at me. Do you believe Jesus can touch you? I, I believe Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm born again. I'm born again, sir. You're serious with him? Yes, sir. Very, very serious. Very serious. I want you to know. Do you think he will just watch you just die like that? Do you believe it's his will for your stomach to be swelling? If you have a child and you have the power to help that child and you see the child's stomach swelling like that, will you smile and tell him continue and die? Is that love? So I want you to know that this thing, God has no hand in it. This is the devil. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the devil. Lay your hands on your stomach. Don't let the name cancer scare you. You understand? It is because of what you have heard, the conditioning in your spirit that has made you feel that it's cancer. Uh, and made you feel it is destructive. There is the life of God. It's called the way. The very life of God. And I want to pray to you. You believe that? You want to kill that cancer and it must leave your body so that you will not die. I believe that like every other person, you have your plans and aspirations. And this is already threatening you to cut short your life. Huh? Are you married? Where's your wife? Because I'm seeing your wife crying. Your wife is already thinking now. And saying that this is how my husband will die. And I'll have to start looking for another man to marry me. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. Father, do a miracle for this brother. We know that cancer is a spirit. In the name of Jesus. Cancer. Die. In the name of Jesus. The condition for your disappearance in this body will bring them to place. And I'm prophesying in the name of Jesus that this cancer will die and it will leave your body forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will return and you will testify. Make sure you testify when God gives you a breakthrough. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. So make sure you testify in the name of Jesus Christ.
I worship forever. I worship forever. I worship forever, Lord. I worship forever. I worship forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're getting into the most important. Please, those outside, can we rise? This is a very prophetic moment. Hallelujah. This is a very, very serious moment. The requests here contain the names of loved ones. I want you to know that everyone is an evangelist this year. There is, there is need for massive salvation. The Lord spoke to me and said he's trusting that he will find the people who will bring souls this year like never before. And I told him, I said, Lord, I'm available. So make sure that from now till December, you don't come alone. We, we are on a mission. Not just to ease ourselves of the guilt of not being soul winners. It's serious business. Hallelujah. Please, those who are yet to submit the names of their loved ones that you are trusting God for them to be saved and then our requests. Very quickly, we have a few minutes. Now, we're going to do it in this order. The moment, let me make an altar call before we pray for this so we can conserve our time. There are people here. Hear me. First overflow, second overflow across the road. Listen. There are people here, probably you were invited and you know that you need to make your ways right with Jesus. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, he so loved you and he demonstrated that love by giving his all, his one and only begotten son. Please, by the way, I don't want you to miss the series we are starting next week. We are taking a series on the gospel. We are going to be examining who Jesus is and the message that he brought. What is the content in the gospel that really saves men so this is profound we preachers have been distracted teaching people on restoration and demons we need to get back and let people understand who jesus is what message did he bring and why is it very powerful where are we really going with all this christianity thing so it's a powerful series you don't want to miss it will be having that all through february praise the lord it will rattle the foundation of your understanding about God and will be walking in exchange. Hallelujah. For instance, let me give you a little preview. Um, the message of Jesus, when he came, his message was just one word, repent. That's all Jesus said, repent. So we're going to be checking what does it mean to repent? Does it mean to come and emotionally answer a, a, a poem? to repeat after the man of God what, what is the what is the jurisdiction of that word repent hallelujah so this is very very important I'm going to make an altar call now and while the people march forward please clear the way for them we'll stretch our hands and be interceding first for souls leave the issue of your needs we're going to intercede you wrote their names you know call them by their names and say Lord we receive their salvation if you save me you can save them you don't want to watch your family members in hell and they are calling on you and saying you know me we came out from the same womb but some of them we know that they are going to hell there's no confusion about it god is a god of love we'll be learning next week but then the truth is there is hell don't let anybody deceive you there is a place called hell there are people there right now praise the lord you are here you need to make your ways right with god you've been hearing preachers talk again and again outside inside you probably are making this decision for the first time seriously in your life. Or you've been answering many altar calls. You don't even know how many. And you don't know the name of what you have been doing. And tonight you are saying, I really want to come out and make a decision. Or you have even given your life to Christ. You are a pastor. You are, you know, functioning in the body of Christ. But you know that you need a, a rededication of your life. Things happen around your life, discouragements, God didn't answer your prayer and he made you to derail out of the way of the Lord. Those two categories of people, I'm going to count one to five, please for time's sake.
for time's sake wherever you are leave your seat and run like there's fire on the mountain especially for those outside one quickly god bless you god bless you don't don't fight it win that war tonight there are so many people coming from outside no matter how far don't say it's too far make your way to jesus god bless you one two keep coming please don't stop don't let your friend don't let anyone stop you this is a destiny decision you have seen the power of god you have seen the grace of god you know that he loves you that he allowed you come for koinonia tonight it's a sign that he loves you and he has great plans for you make your way to the front very quickly while they come keep coming please stretch your hands towards this request and begin to pray in tongues please everybody pray in tongues first for the salvation forget about your prayer request please keep coming you know you need to be out here no matter how long it will take please make your way to the front no matter what you have done jesus loves you and he can give you a new beginning so make your way to the front stretch your hands and let's pray on this request all of you that are inside just stretch your hands as a point of contact those outside stretch your hands towards the screen and let's pray Lord we pray for every soul 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 in this place lord save them some of them are not even christians save them to the uttermost young and old we receive their salvation give them dreams give them encounters you died for them they must not go to hell you have great plans for them. They need to experience the love of Jesus. We intercede for their souls. We intercede for their souls. We intercede for their souls. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, save our fathers. Save our mothers. Save our brothers. Our classmates. Our colleagues in the office. In the name of Jesus. Our families no matter how far they are from the cross bring them to meetings give them encounters holy spirit we permit your ministry in their lives in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah now begin to pray over your request lay your hands over your request by faith and say lord i turn it into a testimony go ahead and pray i turn it into a testimony i turn it into a testimony i turn it into a testimony Father, give your people testimonies, breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, we bring this before your altar. Give your people manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies. In the name of Jesus, manifold testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, we pray for every soul represented here. We release angels of salvation wherever they are in the name that is above all names we authorize these angels to hunt for their souls they will know no peace till they find the cross in the name of jesus christ we release dreams 
we release visions of Jesus we release encounters with the world in the name of Jesus everywhere they turn to they will hear the gospel they will hear it in church they will hear it in class they will hear it everywhere for those who have vowed that they will not give their life to Christ Lord in the name of Jesus we we place their stubbornness side by side with the blood of Jesus and we declare that their souls must be saved and not only saved they will be saved added to the church and established in righteousness in the name of Jesus Lord we pray for these requests Lord right here are humanly speaking impossible situations but Lord as I walk upon them they become testimonies as I walk upon them they become testimonies and Lord your people will stand to testify in the presence of everyone healings and miracles and breakthroughs and salvations and restorations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ now those of you who are making this decision for Jesus Christ I love you from the depth of my heart and I thank you for coming out to accept Jesus Christ it's a very noble decision hallelujah there's no need to feel as if you are going to hellfire it's an exciting thing because it looks natural but it is supernatural in every way lift your right hand and say this after me I'm just guiding you but it's, it's, it's the truth from your heart that really sets you free say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart some of you as you are praying you will literally feel things leaving you as you are praying Jesus said I am the way the truth and I am the life say after me again Lord Jesus I believe in you and I love you with all my heart I accept that I cannot help myself and I ask you tonight save me cleanse me in the name of Jesus everything in me that is not from you I command to leave me right now I declare that I have eternal life in my spirit I'm a child of God my goodness I sense such heavy anointing of the Holy Spirit even just right here in the altar right here I'm sensing that there is such a strong anointing ministering to people ministering to people something is entering you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ those who are getting born again as you are getting born again some of you are getting filled with the Holy Ghost instantly instantly because I see the power of God coming on some of you in the name of Jesus say after me from today I'm a child of God the life of God is in me I will never be the same in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit may you become mighty men and women of the Spirit in the name of Jesus may God do great and mighty things in and through your life I really pray for you from the depth of my heart may you never go back to the systems of this world again may the Holy Spirit guide you may he instruct you and teach you in the name of Jesus Christ may you be established in righteousness in Jesus name I pray may God bless you I like you to follow the lady waving her hands she will have your details and I promise that we'll send you a text and we'll follow you up may God bless you in Jesus name follow the lady very quickly hallelujah God bless you please everyone stand everyone stand I want to speak over your life now and please I want you to pay attention those outside this is when everybody gets to receive something mighty upon their lives I believe in the power of prophecy I believe in its ability to change the course of your life please let's prepare the announcement quickly so that we can take it after we have seen in this house what God has done with prophecy. When Pastor Alpha came up here, he was admonishing us and he told us, he said, you don't just believe in the Lord, but you believe in the prophets that he has put. This is not human worship. It's an election of grace. God sends men and anoints them with apostolic and, and prophetic mantles and graces 
because he wants to use the words through them to step into your life and destiny there will be radical change as I, pro I prophesy over your life lift your hands inside and outside lift your hands the power of God is strong I already feel like fire on my hands I speak over your life a dimension of speed you have never seen a dimension of speed you have never seen receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive it right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside let a mantle come on you for supernatural speed in the name of Jesus I pray for you every spiritual blindness everything covering your eyes from accessing insight in the Word of God you need insight your life is at the mercy of the spiritual insight you have I'm praying for you like a veil torn from a man's eyes I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now I speak against the spirit of limitation that force from hell it allows you to move forward but it will say you will not cross this border in the name that is above all names i come under this anointing this night and i command whatever limit you have seen in your life i break it tonight i break that limit tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every strange dream every spiritual encounter of the night that is not orchestrated from heaven every visitation of demons they appear as animals they appear as men as women they appear as all kinds of things seeing yourself in primary school wearing all kinds of things i don't care what it is in the name that is above all names i command judgment upon those spirits now I command judgment upon those spirits now. Every voice that calls you forth in your sleep and programs tragedy over your destiny. The Bible was not, it didn't leave us in darkness as to what happens when men sleep. I pray whatever calls you forth in your sleep and reprograms your destiny so that you wake up into tragedies by the blood of Jesus I attack those enchanters I challenge their enchantment in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you prosperity like you have never seen a dimension of wealth like you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus I pray upon you the same way favor can come on a man like a mantle you can carry you can know you are carrying help that guy please see this will come on people seriously this ministry has enjoyed a level of inexplainable favor I'm praying for you from that which has come upon this ministry let it come upon your life right now I release that favor in the name of Jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive that favor receive that favor hallelujah I pray for you and Jabez was more honorable listen honor is not just age honor is a mantle God can is a distinguishing anointing that sets you apart and men not only recognize your difference but they celebrate it I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ from today an unction comes upon you a strange grace that makes men to celebrate who you are and what you carry 
believe me when I say this I pray for you inside and outside from the depth of my spirit that mantle of honor that distinguishing anointing receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for your families every project that has refused to be completed I don't care what it is the Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will complete it I'm praying for you whatever has experienced stagnancy in your family I supply spirit power and I command it to start moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ every uncompleted project hear the word of the Lord tonight I command you to be completed in the name of Jesus I've said it again and again that the next level of your life is a destiny help by way listen listen I have seen in my life and I have enjoyed the strange ministry of destiny helpers brothers and sisters God does not need 20 people to change your life one correct person can just step into your life there was a man who some friends insisted he must be healed they carried him and tossed somebody zinc and brought him to those are not friends they are destiny helpers my God in the name of Jesus I don't know where they are who must appear in your life between now and February but in the name that is above all names I speak to the north I speak to the south I speak to the east I speak to the west destiny help us come forth now come forth now financial help us come forth now marital help us come forth now academic help us come forth now career help us come forth now if there are no human beings to occupy that position angels must appear in human bodies and perform that role I pray for you the Lord told us this year is a year of multiplied grace and influence I want you to go back and meditate on it you already see what is happening in the house the house has entered another dimension and everybody who cares has entered that dimension I pray for you I don't know what level of grace you have been functioning in but I pray listen to what I'm about to tell you in the name of Jesus whatever dimension of grace you have seen right now I stand under this apostolic anointing I multiply that grace upon your life I multiply that grace I multiply that healing power I multiply that deliverance power I multiply that grace for favor I multiply that teaching anointing I multiply your influence where you could not have gone by now I pray by the wings of the spirit may you be carried to strange dimensions of influence where your business has not gotten to where your certificate could not have entered in the name of Jesus I expand your spiritual borders and I compel influence in your life in the name of Jesus Christ when you open your mouth to call for help I force your words to enter the ears of an helper in the name of Jesus Christ I say it again koinonia that if you dare open your mouth to cry for help I declare may that word not die till it enters the ears of your helper I speak to the elements of creation I compel them to come in alignment with your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I use the earth as a point of contact every human being works on the earth I speak that anywhere the earth sees you let it compel favor for you some of you may not understand what I'm doing just believe me 
Job said, for out of the earth comes bread. I command. The bread that is buried for your destiny in the earth, I call it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know the desires of your heart, but I'm praying that between now and the next miracle service, that you will come and stand before the people of God and testify to the might of God. Everything that has brought tears out of your family, I judge it right now. Every career person, listen to me. We are forcing promotion this year. Don't say it cannot happen. You will fool yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Look, in the name that is above all names, the mystery of lifting, may it come upon your life. Every student here, your CGPA has ears and I want to speak to it. In the name, you had the testimony of that gentleman. He didn't even complete the testimony. He sent me the text. He was praying for 0.11 and that's exactly what he got. 0.11 and it brought him to 3.50. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Especially for those who are just starting 100 level. You will start with a mysterious GPA that will shock people. I pray for those who have tried and tried. But your academics is just hooking you. You have done all you know to do. I bail you out of it this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bail you out of it this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I pray for you. I must pray for your spiritual life. Encounters that you have never had. Listen. You need encounters in your life. You need encounters. You hear people like Bishop Oyedeko mention encounters and what he transmitted in them. I pray. Strange encounters with the Spirit of God, with the Word of God that will launch your destiny to another dimension. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Nothing dies in your hands. I say it again. Nothing dies in your hands. Those who came from far, I prophesy to you, you left all and paid the price to come. Carry an unction that will shock all that know you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will go back to your campuses, you will go back to your job, you will go back to your homes with a mysterious anointing that will distinguish you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I declare that the miracles begin in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Give Jesus a clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Just give me a minute or two and then we're done very quickly. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain 